Welcome, everyone. We are here for uh, charity today. Uh, we are going to be raising some money. We're going to be playing Hollow and the Gem Grams, which is a uh, gem and the holograms inspired RPG. Um, we're going to dive right into all the fantastic 80s musical madness. Uh, let me see what I've got here. Yeah, so everyone's going to be playing a uh, musician um, with kind of some holographic magic to uh, help transform them. And uh, I think um, I think what I'm going to do is explain uh, the day job versus the band role, and then everyone can go through and introduce themselves and uh, talk about their characters. So in this game, everyone has a day job, which gives them a set certain skill in their regular life, and then everyone has a superstar persona that has a different skill based on what instrument they play in uh, in their band life. Um, and so I think everyone's already chosen all of those. We've also got some others to work out together on stream, especially um, things like what the band's name is. So if anyone wants to donate before we get to that, uh, you can choose the band's name for us. Uh, we're also going to make sure everyone has a signature solo move that they can use. And then the band is going to get some strengths and weaknesses and uh, the band gets a signature move to use as well. So I'm Natasha. You can find me here on Twitch at Natasha Tuskovich Designs and on the rest of the internet as well. Um, I stream co-working and uh, art and creative streams. And we're going to dive right in. I don't know what order everyone is on the, um, on the stream. So if anyone can see that right now, you can, uh, who's up first, they can go first and we'll go clockwise around everyone. Uh, I guess we're going clockwise. Space. It's probably me. So, uh, mm -hmm. hi, uh, I, I'm Millie and or Bunny Hearted. My pronouns are she and her or they and them. Uh, I am playing Roseanne Danton by day, but Roxy Glitterbug by night, who is a personal trainer uh, and also the, the keyboardist. Uh, Roxy is somebody who shines, I think, in supporting others, but is actually really kind of shy and nervous when going solo and kind of freezes up a little bit. So she's there to set up your solos uh, and otherwise experience character growth. We'll see. Hi, I'm Char. Oh, sorry. I was, I was about to say, I think you're next. Ah, <laughs> no, I, I was just, just waiting for the, the not talk over. Hi, I'm Charlie. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash chicken Charlie. Uh, I use they, them, and she, her pronouns. And I'm playing Miss Electra. By day, I'm a preschool teacher, and I love teaching the new youth of whatever indiscriminate country that we're a part of. <laughs> um, but at night, I'm Miss Electra. Um, sorry, my, my day job name is Elaine. Oh gosh, I'm so everywhere. <laughs> um, and I'm the vocalist and my biggest goal is to make uh, punk rock, um, synth wavy children's music, children's songs. So I don't have to sing wheels on the bus anymore. And that's me. I love that. Uh, hey guys, I'm the Revno Sarkhan. I use he, him, they, them pronouns. I can be found here on Twitch as well. Uh, I'm going to be playing Robert Bon Jovi Collins uh, or Bobby Bon Jovi. Hey, forget about it. Uh, by day, I'm a struggling actor, uh, but I play the drums for this fantastic band. Uh, you know, you can find me in a business shirt and tie with the sleeves rolled up as per whatever school I'm currently substituting it allows. But when I rock out, I rock out. That's uh, And that's Bobby. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dale. I use he, him pronouns. Uh, today, I'm going to be playing Paul Collins, who is your customer service expert at Techland, your local uh, big box electronics store, where I help keep people under control and uh, try to make sure the store doesn't get burned down during big sales events. Uh, by night, I am the band's bass player, and my stage name is Bootsy Jammer. And... That is all for me. You're up. I'm Jacob. I'm Crimson Oak here on Twitch. Um, I'm playing uh, Jason Jameson, who goes by JJ for his stage name. By day, I'm a barista. By night, if I'm not performing, I'm a bartender. I play the keto. All right. So we've got some excellent uh, groups together. 
Uh, at this point, we're going to go through and as a group, we're going to decide on the band strengths and weaknesses. So you guys are going to get two strengths and one weakness. Um, so these should be things that kind of affect you guys all, all as a group. Um, does anyone have any ideas? Uh, on the sheet, I've got kind of written down examples like you might be really creative together or you might be really loud. Weaknesses might be maybe you don't practice as much as you need to or you're all style and no music or you, sometimes you forget the songs. <laughs> kind of what do you guys think would make sense for you guys as a group? Um, I like the idea of us being very loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think loud is a great one for us. Okay. I also think picking the lyrics for songs would be another good weakness for us. So we just kind of make up stuff on the spot sometimes. A little and improv. Yeah. 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 Forgetting, like... forgetting the words being loud. And then I also think it'd be hilarious. Um, the, the like, uh, in sync, we're somehow like together. We just all kind of like, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We, we're loud, we're, we're in sync, and we all forget everything sometimes. You forget the words, but you stay in sync regardless. Yeah. yeah. Did we really follow that drum line? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Perfect. That sounds good. Um, have do we have any ideas for band names? And did anyone want to donate to uh, suggest or, or uh, decide on the band name in the uh, in the chat there? So the audience can choose the band name for a cause. <gasps> for a cause. Yeah, we're, we're raising money for children's hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, but if you guys have some ideas, maybe that might help inspire chat too. Yeah. Uh, I definitely was... like the idea of a, a format where we're named after the lead singer. Yeah. Where it's like this person and the, the something other, Because I just want to be at something or other, okay? Yeah. I want to be yeah. a nameless goon in the band. I like Electra and the goons. Yeah, I, I like Electra and the goons. <laughs> yeah, we're all goons. I mean, that sounds good to me. But we're all goons Electra and the misfits. <laughs> oh. But it's spelled Ever. wrong. <laughs> yes. It's like M Y M Y S F Y T A Z. But lot lots of consonants in there. <laughs> Are we thinking Electra and the misfits or Electra and the goons? Mm, I'm torn. I'm going to goons go with like real show. an O for each one of us. So just as goons. <laughs> the goons. Oh, I, I love that. Does actually. the logo have like a little stylized yeah, yeah. version of her face in each letter? Yes. It's like, uh, I don't know what I'm referencing, but every letter has like a stylistic like piece of clothing. So like. Um, yes. Sunglasses, o has hat. Like hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One's um, wearing the hat. <laughs> my my O has the little umlauts, so they can represent my my drumsticks. Yes. <laughs> People get confused and think it's an X sometimes. <laughs> All right. How long have you guys been a band together? Are you new? Are you fresh together? Have you been working for a long time? What do you guys think? Is someone new, but the rest of you have been working together? I think like no more than a year, no? It yeah, we're, we're, like, we're still very new together. Yeah. Like we, I think we it's, find the okay. sink, but we, we still year, forget stuff. I, I feel like we all live in like the same like yeah. city <laughs> town um, and went to like a bar. <laughs> We're like the only. We started a karaoke bit and just yeah. joined in. Like, it was a bit that just went too far, and we no one knows what to call it. Well, how about we were all like neighbors? We we're all performing in our garages separately with the doors open. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of joined in together eventually. It was, it was just advertising. It was a neighborhood was barbecue. Mystery. During the pandemic, we did like mini pandemic performances for the cul-de-sac. Yeah, and it just stuck. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so you guys just kind of naturally came together. <laughs> All right. Um, we need a group playing in harmony effect. So what would you guys like to do as you, when you're all playing together and this is like your big attack or move or skill, basically? Kind of a bit of a magic effect when, when you're all really working together. 
So some mm. of the examples we had are things like um, maybe like you have really diehard fans and they all rise up to help you. Maybe you have a laser light show and you can like distract and like completely change what's uh, what everything looks like around you. I like um, the pyrotechnics. pyrotechnics. I think fireworks too. Yeah. Something along the lines of explosions. Yeah. I feel like um, Bobby Bon Jovi gets our pyrotechnics like from his cousin. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and always is willing to strap anything and everything to his drum set. <laughs> like NASA has sent us a few letters. We're like, please stop sending drums into the assist. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The town has uh, some new bylaws created specifically for you guys. No, you're not a real band if you don't make laws, right? Yeah. Right. I know that we have been fined for at least one set of symbols orbiting the atmosphere right now. <laughs> the town's trying um, to have learned how to profit on it, though. It's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, did everyone manage to uh, choose a signature solo for themselves? Uh, I've got mine. I got mine. Did anyone mm -hmm. not get one, I guess? Question. Everyone's good? Okay, perfect. Um, Should we share what they are to make sure we don't have any overlap? That actually be a great idea. I love that. Go for it. Sure. I have dropped the beads to like speed nice. up someone else's actions. Felt on point for the, the character. I <laughs> took ballad, which is I can slow down an opponent, but I think it's just me being like, let's think about our actions here. <laughs> See, you, you give a little lesson. Yeah. Do I give a little like oh, lesson? Perfect. Oh my god, the the scales. Uh, yeah, I got I got drum solo, so I can pause time briefly. Perfect. So everyone, this is also good for you guys to all hear each other's ones, because then you can kind of be like, oh wait, we could do this right now. I've got minor key to help calm things down when it's getting a little too out of control. Nice. I got crowd surf. I can escape from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so so we can speed speed up the speed up everything and send you off and crowds go to oh, run away we, awesome yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay i, I sort of see? love the idea of you crowd surfing with a keytar though yes <laughs> like, be -de 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 -de. Just are, like the crowds sending you off the distance. <laughs> what if you have a keytar surfboard Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for this. Is it the surfboard or is it the instrument? Who knows? I have a regular keytar that I have a keytar that I can play with my feet. Yeah, you oh probably like my. ride on it through the crowd. Like, yeah, you know like those uh, ones that are like on the ground? It's just one of those. We're, we're just in full music video rules, so like fully yeah. in the air. I, I want this band to exist in real life. <laughs> <laughs> a feetar. Yes, I'm feet tired. <laughs> All right, next up. Um, so I'm just going to explain really quickly. The mechanics in this game are super simple. Um, we're going to be, we decided on D20, right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. We were, we were on the same page, my friend. <laughs> yeah. So, Donation just came in to make um, the band name Electra and the Goons. Yes. Perfect. All right. So mechanics are really easy. Everyone individually has four energy points. Um, as a group, you also have four popularity points. So if one of you drops down to four energy, you can't do anything until someone helps you get your energy back. Like you take a nap, you have a Red Bull, whatever. Um but you're you're a little bit knocked out. If your whole band loses all four popularity points, you guys probably aren't a band anymore. Like you're probably getting dropped from your record label. You probably no one likes you. Uh, you're probably maybe getting arrested based on probably what you guys are going to get up to. Um, so that's <laughs> what you guys want to avoid. <laughs> so you want the fans to like you. Um, I thought bands. I thought people liked bands when they got arrested for doing dumb stuff. Yeah, but I think they'll guess more popular. They'll love you unless your popularity is zero, and then suddenly you've gone too far. Okay. <laughs> so that's the secret. Oh, da -da okay, so on this game, we can kind of all give. I was thinking we everyone could give one role for our adventure plot here. So um, unless anyone has any objections, we can just kind of 
do we have one, two, three, four? Do I have five of you? Yep. Okay, I only have four plot points here. Um, so everyone give me a roll and whoever's the lowest doesn't get to roll for plot. I'll roll a d20. Yep. I, I rolled a well, one. I got a seven. <laughs> I got a six. I got a 15. We here. We're, start, we're starting I, I rolled a one, yeah. No. All right. That's the one that gets Poor dropped. Poor Roxy. <laughs> All right, so um, who rolled the highest? I got 15. I 15, yeah. 15? Yeah, All right, give me a roll on a d6. Three. Three. All right, our antagonist is a rec rival record label. Mm. Uh, who rolled next highest? Uh, uh, that seven. would be Ravdos. Give roll a d6. D6. A four. A four? A four. All right, wants to create or become... Mm. Who's up next? Seven? Okay, let's go. Yeah. I got a two. The biggest summer music festival. And we'll end with a three. And a three. In order to beat the record for the most platinum albums. All right. Most platinum. Not on our watch. We're creating yeah. Firefest. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Probably. Oh my god. Okay, so I yeah, you guys are the last time I ran this game, it was kind of one of those. If you've seen the good place, it was kind of like, are we in the bad place? Are we the bad guys? Um, so good luck. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> you you don't have to be the bad guys, you can be the good guys. You don't have to be the misfits just because you almost named yourselves that. But we're the goons. Yeah. Goons. Does anyone who's good have goons? <laughs> All right. Where is one? So we have four. Hockey has taught me that goons are are the ones that you want to root for. All right. Okay. So. The biggest thing for all of you guys, I hope you're all feeling comfortable with singing because singing is definitely going to be required. Um, if you've seen any of the um, episodes of Gem or some of the songs that were posted in links, um, basically the songs don't have to be good. Most of the songs in Gem are just like one line repeated a bunch of times kind of differently. And then they just exposition stuff. Like either it's a very obvious moral, it's something they're doing at the moment. Um, or it's just like random stuff. They just talk about whatever makes sense for the current plot. Like, we are fighting you right now. And then you just repeat it. So don't worry if your song is dumb, just go for it and have a good time. Uh, also feel free to like, just replace lyrics in other songs that you already know. <laughs> if, if you have inspiration. So if you guys, are you guys all feeling I'm good I'm gonna apologize singing? right now by singing. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I have a three-year-old. I'm pretty used to singing it's random all stuff. all for fun. We knew what we were getting into. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dive right in. So, All right, when your group names, watch it in the news. Perfect. All right, hi, I'm Gemgram. I'm your holographic music app. Thanks for downloading. Make sure you leave a five-star review. You have been personally chosen by Hollow and her superstar record label to protect the music industry because you are pure of heart. Now that you have the Gemgram app, you have access to a virtually infinite stage wardrobe, light and sound system. How does this all work? Hologram, silly. Don't ask stupid questions. Anyway, whenever you need me, I'm here on your phone. Just say Gemgram and start singing a song. You'll transform right away. This, song ne this world needs you to save the music. Now it's time to get on stage, introduce your new group to the world. Get ready to sing about who you are and what you want, Electra and the Goons. Now it's time for you guys to sing your first song. Don't know. <laughs> right off the gate. So everyone gets a verse. Sing about your group, sing about who you are, sing about what you like, sing about what you want, sing about something important to you and the group. Anyone dive in. Who's the lead singer? They gotta say. Yeah, um Fair enough. Okay, um da 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 Hi everyone! Welcome in and say hi! We are Miss Electra and the Goons! Miss Electra and the Goons! And we're here to entertain you and educate you! Bada bottom! 
perfect. We will light the world on fire with our explosions. Yes, 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 we will. We will start shooting stuff off into the sky. Thank you, JJ. Musical Majesty. <laughs> I'm JJ. I'm on the keto. I'm just here to crowd surf. Then I want to jump into the crowd. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gonna change the, the tone to be a little bit sadder for a moment with, with the synths here. Just a little bit of a serious moment. The camera's going to zoom bridge. in on Roxy's face here and be like, I just want to find a place where I belong. So I'm singing this rad song. And setting up whatever is next. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, go into a drum solo for a little bit too long of just full-on drums. Uh, I was named for the best artist of the 80s, and that is Bobby Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi rocks. Yeah, he do, and so do we. Electra and the goons, we the goons support Electra. That's what we do. All right, the I'm crowd is going wild. Cutting back for a moment, I have to include the verse. I forgot to sing my name. <laughs> Roxy Glitterbug here. Danny on you. Great encore, Fire. we love you. Firework goes off. <laughs> Not again, Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so you guys are on stage right now. You're at a concert. You're rocking out. Um, as you finish that song and the crowd is uh, is just loving it, um, suddenly the lights go out. And when they come back on, your rivals are on stage, um, ready with all of their their instruments and they're gonna try and uh, take over your stage for you. What do you guys do? Um, I want to belittle. <laughs> um, as, a, as a person that works in, I would say family services, um, I would like to use a charisma stat to look at them and be like, well, 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 isn't it the bad apples of uh, Jacob's oh, okay. eye? <laughs> I didn't know they let you out of detention. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to make them like, um, I want them to like, like, I want, them, or... I want to like shake their confidence. Hmm. Okay. Uh, give me a roll, um, on your D 20 and you are, you said you're using one of your skills for that. Yes. Um, uh, uh, being a family and use services person, I have charisma as part of my day job and also as my band role, so. Oh, so this, I didn't explain this. So basically when you're in your day job role, you get that bonus. And when you're in your uh, band role, you get that bonus. Um, so you get it's, one at a time. It's the same things. <laughs> so you're good to go. Uh, yeah, give me a roll and add one to it. 21. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, they're actually kind of shaken. They were not expecting you guys to like stand up to them. Uh, they kind of fumble and they were just about to start singing, but now they're kind of like infighting with themselves about whether they should actually like talk, like fight back with you guys. Like, what are they doing? Should we just start playing? Like, they're so stupid. Oh my God. What? They're not supposed to stand up to us. Um, what would you guys like to do? I want to uh, just walk up to uh, their guitarist and start uh, playing grand for them, like challenging him to a guitar off, like Ooh. one on one. You're yes. trying to challenge him. Uh, give me a roll, see if he see if he bites. And uh, what, what skill? Do you have a skill that helps with that? What's your skill? Um, it's dexterity. Okay, or, so no, just uh, give me a straight roll then. I, I failed that one. I got a one, so I, I fought with that one. A one. Okay, so <laughs> yes, you're trying to play this uh, this ripping solo to try to like intimidate this guy. Uh, how does it go wrong? Um, I actually unplug my uh, keto. Do you kind of trip in the cable maybe and fall over flat on your face in front yeah. of this entire crowd? Yeah, I, right. I just you trip and fall on my face. You're gonna lose one point of energy. No. 
Uh, <laughs> can I let off a firework to distract people? You just start, yeah, well, uh, what would your goal be in distracting people? Uh, pulling focus away from him and what he was going on and uh, pulling it over to the drums where I assume this guy was trying to, like, sit either on top of me or, or their drummer was trying to, like... There's an entirely other drum set. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Then, yeah, I'm going to set off a firework and then uh, throwing star, one of my symbols at the, at the other drummer. Ooh, so you're trying to attack the other drummer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give me a roll. And what's your skill? Uh, I'm a, I'm the drummer, so I have uh, strength and toughness. As oh, yeah. Okay, you can add a point to that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. 16 plus 1 is 17. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, all right, so you're setting off a firework and doing a drum solo and throwing a uh, cymbal star at the other drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just... All right, so let's chaos. say, um, I, yeah, I feel like the firework goes off and kind of like, um, before this drummer can actually get start started playing, it just kind of makes the drum kit explode in a, a bunch of noise and sounds that are not good <laughs> drumming noises. Um, with a nice finale of that uh, cymbal star hitting one of their cymbals, just to crash it off at the end there. Um, so that drummer is a little bit uh, unable to play right now. So you guys are definitely inhibiting these guys from doing their song, at least a little bit. Um, who would like to go next? I think I'm just going to start playing. Um, random, get set, setting a nice, help set a nice beat to get a nice song going. Perfect. What's I think I'm going to... My Join you, goal? but I want to speed it up too. I think you yeah. you should play with a little bit more energy behind you in this. Call. Okay. I wish to use yeah, we... my signature solo to drop the beat. The moment you start playing, just keyboard comes in. Yes, yeah, just get a ni ni nice loud tone going, and then uh, yeah, she can pick it up right after me. Perfect. Okay, both I'm trying, I'm trying to push you forward. Oh, you're both? trying to push me? Go. Oh, okay, <laughs> that works too. We'll, we'll work, we'll, we'll build each other up. There you go. So, uh, for mine, uh, looks like I'm going to be focusing mostly on uh, perception to make sure that I am keeping aware of what's going on and trying to watch the crowd. Okay, so you're trying to like what? Keep a handle on the crowd's perception. Yeah, keep and keep, keep that like keep the keep the crowd focused on us is my main goal. Mm, okay, excellent. Give me a roll. Read the crowd's mood. And what's your skill? Uh my skill would be, uh, so that would be the uh, dexterity perception, right? Yes. That okay. Talking? So. Yeah. Um. So just give me a straight roll. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, Bun uh, Bunny, what did you roll? Oh, I wasn't sure if I was rolling with the signature solo or not. Hang on. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, I rolled a one remember. again. <laughs> hey, Best dice ever. Dice over here, and I'm gonna pull a different d20. Hang on. There we go. Dice jail. You give your dice more than one chance. It gets you one. It's out of the I game. I am a very benevolent dice deity. <laughs> um all right so yeah you you start playing you're, you're getting into it it's it's going great um how does it all go terribly wrong i feel like we need to be playing different songs and we're just like we lost our sync. out of sync with each other and there's like a resonant frequency where they sort of cancel each other out here. yeah yeah, yeah. she forgot which she didn't realize which song i was trying to play I was gonna say, yeah. Did one of you um, have your band's weakness of forgetting forgetting the song? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Mm, okay. Um. So yeah, the the, the bank crowd is not liking this. This is just a clat. We just had an explosion with the drums, and now you guys are not playing a real song, and it's just kind of a mess right now. Um, the band is gonna lose one popularity. Miss Electra is actually gonna. Uh, can I try to salvage this popularity point? 
You can, or, yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna go to the mic and go one, two, three. Eyes on me, everybody. Hi. I know that things have been a little topsy turvy, but we're all gonna come together, and I'm gonna use my ballad um effect to slow everything down and to make everyone focus in on me as I sing um this heart wrenching ballad about sticking by even in the tough times. <laughs> uh, Give me a roll. Come on, dice. That's a 16. 16. All right. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're, you're keeping it together. It's, it's, uh, it's coming through. Uh, things are, things are kind of working. The band's starting to pick up, but also, um, the rival band, uh, despite their, uh, drummer fumbling around trying to put his drum kit back together, uh, they are also starting to try to play over you. Um, what would you guys like to do? What is the rest of the band doing? Oh, I'm not gonna allow them to be heard above us. So I'm gonna start with the drums, like doom, 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 and just help uh, with uh, Miss Electra's ballad. Time to embrace our loudness. Yeah, oh. we're gonna embrace our loudness and just try to play even louder. Perfect. Oh. Everyone, give me a roll. You haven't prepared me yet. Uh, three on my end, so I'm not going to be helpful. I got a nat 13. 20 again. Ooh. Dang, I got nice. a 16. Ooh, I got, a, I got 16 also. All right, so we had three was the lowest, and we had a nat 20 was the highest? Yeah, buddy. All right. Okay, so you guys are working together. You're loud. The crowd is actually loving it. They're hearing you because you are so much louder than the other band who uh, doesn't have a drum set and is kind of like getting confused um, as to how to keep up with you guys and your explosions. Uh, they are, they're, they're still struggling here. They're trying to go on, but they're, they're not doing too great. Um, one of the, uh, one of the guitarists, though, is going to go over and start trying to uh, unplug some of your guys' cables uh, while you're playing. What would you guys like to do? Hit him with the entire keyboards? <laughs> can I try to, can yeah. I try to walk, maneuver myself so I trip him when he's trying to get to the chords? You can, yeah. Which one of you would like to go first? I think you can go first. The moment anyone else is doing anything, Rox is going to be like, ah, okay, supporting this. All right, um, for the tripping, do you, uh, what is your skill? Uh, dexterity. There's it. Perfect. All right, give me a roll and add one. <laughs> uh, my dice has rolled away from me. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Um, so the two of you end up, uh, kind of tripping over each other. Um, the, nothing has been unplugged yet, but you're also not playing anymore. Uh, who else would like to try something? Um, could I go over and try and smash him with the guitar? You can, but the crowd might not like that. Uh, just you, you, you um, your, your hologram app goes, wait, don't be too violent. The crowd won't like it. Can I try what? and trip him with the guitar? Like sweep his legs yeah. out? He is on the ground right now, but the, the rest oh. of the band is also still trying to play. Okay, I'll go after, I guess, their guitarist. You're gonna try to trip their guitarist? Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, give me a roll if you have a, if you have the physical skill, add that. Otherwise, just- I do have dexterity. You have a dexterity, you can add that. Interruption. Quick interruption, everyone. $50 donation just came in that summons Jared Leto. Jared Leto comes in to help. I'm sorry that it's Jared Leto. Maybe he's in the cat outfit. <laughs> oh my god, excellent. Okay, all right. Maybe. Uh, so it's, if we add plus one, if we have the skill for, like, dexterity? To trip them, or? Yeah, exactly, just yeah, one, yeah. Okay, that'll be an 18 then. Perfect. Okay, yeah, you've, um, you've tripped them. You did, like, a wicked cool kind of move at the end of your, your chorus there. Um, they're on the ground. The other members of that band are coming over to kind of help help out their members on the ground. And while this is happening, Jared Leto walks on stage in his cat costume uh, from the Met Gala. And um, you guys are kind of finishing up your song. So he, he takes one of the, you give him, one of you gives him your mic and he goes, oh my God, these guys are amazing. Everyone give it up. The crowd goes wild, obviously, because they just saw how awesome you are. 
Um, and he... two more donations suddenly come in. Twenty dollars for Chicken Charlie to sing time after time. And twenty-five dollars for Bunny Hearted to sing the Sakabambas piss song. Or anybody else who's willing to sing. There you go. That was like see if I can find 40... that. Hang on. So you gotta look Here, that we... up. There you go. I'm learning what this song is, because I was born in ninety-nine. <laughs> And a brand new donation just came in just now that is not loading. One sec. Oh, you maybe it was the sack of bombasses. Anyway, thank you so much. Everybody. All right. While um while you guys are uh, figuring out that um, Jared Lido is on stage, he uh, looks at. Sorry, my notes are on two different computers here. Um, he he says, you know, this band is amazing. Everyone, give it up. Um, he goes. I know you all know we're here for a very important cause today. Um, our charity that helps sick kids needs money. And thank you guys all for showing up to this concert. Um, everyone goes wild. Um, you guys are kind of, uh, are excited about this because this is why you're here. This is, uh, you know, a big charity promotion for your record label. Um, is anyone ready to sing the song they got donated to sing? <laughs> Uh, I'm still looking up what it is. This will take me a moment. It's That's fair. I have the lyrics. Um, I've never heard the song, but <laughs> I will make it work. I think that's that's part of the charm. All right, he is going to go. And now for a very special song that's close to my heart, and I'm sure you guys will all understand how important, why it makes sense for this cause. Please go ahead. And he hands the microphone back to you. And I'll, uh, uh, since I know the song, I'll start off with a very slow beat, just kind of to let, let uh, Miss Electra know that this is not a fast song. Thanks. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick, and I think of you caught up in da. circles. Da. Confusion is nothing new. Flashback, warm nights, almost left behind. Suitcase of memories, time after. Sometimes you picture me and I'm walking too far ahead. You're calling to me and I can't hear what you said. Then you say, Go slow, and I fall behind. The second hand unwinds. And if you're lost, excellent. <laughs> you can keep going for as long as you want, but you can stop whenever you want to. I'm good. <laughs> The crowd loves it. It's it's so obvious to them why this song is important and meaningful um, for this specific cause and your specific group. Um, you can take an extra point of energy. <laughs> um, as we um, as that song winds down, um, your rivals run up and grab the microphone. Um, you losers! Your band is awful. We're gonna beat you in the Battle of the Bands next month, you guys don't even know you're gonna lose so bad. We're a better band and we're gonna win all of the money. You're gonna get none of it and your stupid little charity's gonna get none of it too. Jared Leto looks crushed. He was counting on you guys to win that Battle of the Bands and give that money to the charity. Hey, you guys didn't even um, make it to regionals. Hi, hey, I'm about it. hi, I'm so sorry. Did you just brag about taking money away from sick children? I want to, I want to you ruin guys their loser. <laughs> No, but you, you realize we're not getting the money, right? You realize that you're taking money away from sick children and bragging about it on stage. You realize if just, we wouldn't donate it ourselves to a better cause. What's better than what's, sick children? Yeah, who are you? Yeah, enlighten me. Enlighten me. Um, enlighten, uh, please share your thoughts and i'm listening intently we don't have to explain ourselves to you they're gonna stomp off the stage um at this point um 
your concert is pretty much winding down uh, for the evening. Um, the fans are having a great time. You guys, uh, you guys kept your popularity up. Uh, what would you guys kind of anything anyone wants to say while you're still on stage? Or are you guys going to kind of transition to backstage? Thank you, Chicago. <laughs> Good night. We're in Detroit. Like a bump, bump, beast. <laughs> We are in Detroit this time. Oh, we have another song for someone to sing. We do. We do have another song to do. We can do it as this an encore. This is our encore for the night. Oh, I yeah. Didn't want, I didn't we have to come back it. out on the stage dramatically, I think. Hopefully hopefully to the cheering <laughs> crowd. Um, how do we do an intro for, for a Cursed Fish song that I don't even know the tune to, but I found English translation lyrics to, and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah. But I, I feel yeah. we, we have to like bring the microphone in real close and play like classy keyboard music to this yeah. point. Bobby doesn't like, know this um, song, so I'm Bobby. gonna I'm gonna follow your lead. That's that's bold because it's not as if Roxy or anyone else in the world knows this song either. Uh, I'm just gonna start totally playing. Try to say something cool and classy, like ah, we wouldn't swim away like the little fish in the other band. In fact, we're here to tell you about a very special fish. Well, it's an educational song. Of course, well, it's an educational song. This is a learning opportunity. Um, swimming failure, something like a fish, Saka Bamba spits. Dad bulls ain't got another more to this, Saka Bamba spits. Mouth split wide and ready for a sip, Saka Bamba spits. Smiling bright, alive, so lift your dick. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Elder of the little fish. Honestly, you're pretty big. Sturdy like the mighty ship. Smiling cruel and sly is how it lives. Suck up a master. And you just do a little, a little like jazzy, oh. just <laughs> on the symbols. I kind of want to sing the this whole song now, but not, feet. not now. <laughs> I'm curious that's, about hearing it. <laughs> Um, everyone loved it, you guys. Your your popularity is restored. Um, uh, Bunny, you can also take an extra energy. Um, thank you, thank you. I don't know what that means, but I'm putting it in my... Oh, I guess we start with four, don't we? So I'm at like yeah, five exactly. four. Start with four. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, as you guys um, are kind of backstage after the show, everything's winding down. Um, Jared Leto comes to talk to you. Um, He's he's looking pretty uh, pretty down in the dumps with the upset. There's um he's gonna yeah he's like your show is really great but I just I don't know if we can if even if you win if it's gonna be enough. Uh, Jared, let's turn that frown upside down and really yeah, think about the that manifesting a good positive outcome because i think that if we're setting ourselves up with a bad attitude we're setting ourselves up to fail so worry not until there's something to worry about yeah listen larry jared leto you are the energy that you put out into the world you know like we got to put out winning energy you know don't worry we got this i don't know i just there's a you you know the 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 battle of the bands is part of the big summer summer music fest but it's 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 trying to be taken over by by your rival the you know the other record label and would you guys like to come up with a name for the rival record label would anyone like to donate in chat to choose the name for the rival record label um, if anyone has any ideas shout them out or uh, donate now <laughs> skunkfish um, riled up records skunkfish labels mm -hmm. Skunkfish labels. Yeah. I like skunkfish I labels. Like <laughs> villain <laughs> records or something like that. Some like very direct, extremely obvious record label. Skunkfish scumbag. Bad vibes music studio. Bad vibes music studio. Oh Wrong no, you won't keep. You won't put vibes because that would wreck the music part of it. It's like it's like out of tuning. <laughs> out of tuning. I have a suggestion for what a one word name. I can no longer say without laughing, so I've typed it instead. 
I knew it. I knew it. The moment you started giggling, I was like, mm -hmm. this is gonna be a running Bumbaskis. joke now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Saka Bombasca okay. Studios. I mean, I'm definitely bringing this what back for thinking? all of the games Saka that I'm in. This fish will now happen. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> are we thinking Saka Bombasis, uh Studios? Saka Bombasis. We oh, actually only studios. hate them because we can't pronounce it. <laughs> the only, this is the only beef we have. Yeah. Right. yeah well, we can just keep butchering the name the whole the whole game. That works pretty well. I plan to call it Saskatchewan Records. Oh my god, that's where I'm from. Are <laughs> <laughs> so we yeah. um, about this? Um, if chat would like to donate, they can override us. But for now, we're going to go with Sakabambapsis uh, labels here. Should we put that in hand. chat so they know how to mispronounce it? <laughs> uh, I, they'll figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know. They know. They know. Um, yeah, Sakabambapsis, they're, they're trying to take over and create their own summer mu music fest, but... They're trying to take over the land our charities, our, our hospital is on. They're they're trying to to kick us out. It's it's gonna be a mess if we don't if we don't win this battle of the bands, the hospital won't even exist. This is why I don't prioritize healthcare, right? Hey. <laughs> yeah, this is a by the land of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> From his mouth to God's ears, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, so that's bad, but uh, I think that with the power of teamwork that we're going to uh, pull through, um, because in the next... Uh, hour, two hours. Uh, we're gonna pull an after-school special, an under uh, the underdogs rise above, and everyone turns out happy. And those, <laughs> so it's gonna be okay, Jared Leto. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, we can pinky promise. She puts her pinky out. Hey, hey, Jared Leto. What Absolutely. we need is, is a montage. With you. It's gonna be okay. Um. And even if it's not, that just means another door is opening. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. We'll make sure Sakaba about his records doesn't get anyone yeah. else. No one, no one's gonna remember Saskatchewan in twenty years. That's also true. Ha! <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> um. All right, so um, what is your guys' next step? You know, uh, to recap, you know there is um, a charity whose land is trying to be um, taken away from them. You know there is a rival record label. Uh, you know your rival band has also been um, fighting with you guys. Uh, you could kind of, you know, look more into what's going on with the land and the charity. You could kind of practice and really like work up like maybe your set list or your, if you're doing a big stage production or things like that, uh, you kind of approach things from more of a music standpoint or more of a, uh, like a real world standpoint. Um, what are you guys feeling like, or do you guys have anything in your regular lives that you need to take care of? What are you all, what are you all up to? Well, do, do I you, could, do you all, oh, go ahead. I, 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 I could see about getting, a few uh copies of the record label's music from my work to so we can do some background research on their music and counter and see find their you know strengths weaknesses flaws with their own production we got to get in contact with all the artists we can make this the biggest event ever if you book them they will come let's try to book some big artists no, get lots of cameos to come in here. Do, what do we think do everyone in their band it? really believes in this cause? Do they know what they're doing? Do, do they know what the stakes are? Maybe we can talk to them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do the they know work. what they're doing. Do some legwork. We need to make some flyers. The real question is, is it a school night? What was... day of the week is it? Yeah. I don't remember now. Give me a roll. Who uses flyers these days? 
Everything is on the Facebooks and the Twitters. I think it's called the X's now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... I'm not calling it that. I'll tell you that right now. I, I need a random number generator. One sec. I have one. Yeah, roll a D7. <laughs> I was just going to go six this Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Okay, it is Saturday right now. Oh, All right, yeah, I can stay out till 11.30. So Ooh. we're good. It is 11 p.m. We have half an hour to figure this out, you guys. <laughs> All right, All let's right, take so a fast car. I can make us some caffeine. We can go until four. <sighs> um, so you guys have talked about doing some research into the record label. You've talked about collaborating with some other bands who might be in support with you. Um, talking to the rivals and then doing some advertising, like posting photos and stuff. So do you guys want to work on all of those together or does each one of you kind of want to like choose something different to work on? What are you thinking? I think one of us also needs to go to the hospital and get some, um, get some heart wrenching stories, you know, Have oh, some, I'll, uh, I will help, absolutely... help, get, help get some, get some anecdotes or, you know, I'll get, take, I'll... get the hospital to help, uh, advertise for us. I'll take my preschoolers on like an on like a field trip to the hospital <laughs> and make there them the, and be like, okay, go make friends, <laughs> and then get them to tell me what their friends tell them. Don't get sick. You're gonna just like we're mad. Kids. I take your phone and put it all on uh, on TikTok. Like we're just we're just doing advertising here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the like, kids gonna... teach me how to floss. You know, that's that's a TikTok thing. I think. Have fun storming. Yeah, I don't think TikTok Look flosses at how anymore. Heartwarming these sick kids are. They need money. Yep. All right. So, um, who? Uh, okay. Well, we're on that one right now. So, give me a roll for that and see how. See, let's see how that goes. And if you have a, if you have a skill to help with that, let me know. Um. We can totally divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I I think this is a, a stamina hurting children in a hospital and keeping them together which right. is part of my day job perfect and i rolled a 15 a, a 4 plus 1 15 a 14 plus 1 15 all right yeah so you're doing pretty well like you're getting you know the videos aren't getting that much attention but like you know the attention they're getting is good so it's it's kind of coming along it's it's helping out with the cause um yeah you feel like things are helping um while you're at the hospital, Jared Lido um, takes you aside and uh, is, is gives you some, you know, thanks and gratitude for for helping out and um, kind of. He, he says like your 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 rivals they were here earlier, kind of with this building inspector, and they said the whole place it's going to be shut down. It's not even safe, but that can't be true. We. It, it's all perfect. Like, the building is fine. I don't know what to do now. Every time I think we're getting a hang of this, it starts it starts becoming more of a disaster. Um, are they still in the building, the building inspectors? I uh, know they have left. Um, he, he did, I mean, this was his business card, though. It looks like it's a city business card for a building inspector. Cool. Um, listen, uh... Mr. Leto, Jared Leto. I feel like calling you your full name is weird, so I'm just gonna call you J Dog, okay? So J Dog. <laughs> That's um, what all my closest friends call me. As as they should, J Dog. <laughs> and <laughs> um we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I think that um people that feel small about themselves find other people that feel small about themselves so that their world feels bigger than it really is. And so I'm just going to give them some loving attention so that they just have a better outlook on uh, the situation. And hopefully that helps the city contractor. Uh, I'm going to look at the business card, um, which reads um, Jamiles. Uh, Anyone in uh, the chat wants to donate to name the building inspector, please feel free. Yeah, <laughs> please feel free. Um, I'm going to talk to uh, building inspector Jamiles and see what we can come up with. Um, but do not fret. We still have the concert. So 
Um, rest easy, J Dog. Uh, drink some like hibiscus lemonade. Uh, listen to listen to a good audio book. Uh, peace out. I gotta take the kids back. It's almost nap time. Can I try and convince J Dog to sing with us for the final performance? Um, he'll, he'll probably be around because he's involved with the whole the whole charity, anyways. Um, who wants to go next? We have research, collaborate, talk to rivals, and flyers left to be done. I'll yeah, do but... research. Oh, actually, so I, how go. I think... Okay, awesome. So I, I think, hang on, I gotta look at my my non stage name to Roseanne. Uh, it's gonna see. Do they have a keyboard and still need rival band as well? They do. See if we can figure out who that keyboardist is. Uh, and is going to try to awkwardly cross paths while out for a jog uh, and try to start a conversation. Okay. We'll um, Hat free. <gasps> all right. Give me a roll. Um, do you have any? Do you have a social skill while you're uh, not transformed? Uh, I have toughness. <laughs> or are you trying to um, like disguise yourself at all? The most social. No, experience. not at all. Not really. Okay, you're trying like to not in yourself. costume, but still pretty clearly the same person. Who you are? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Give me a. Uh, give me a flat roll then. I rolled a twelve. Okay. So they're not like. They're pretty meh towards you. It's like, what are you doing here? I just wanted to talk. What do you want to talk about? Well, because I think your band is really good and your music is really rad, but you're doing this really weird thing where you're like trying to destroy a children's hospital. And I don't really understand that. And I, I think you deserve better and brighter things than that, right? Look, I just sort of can't believe someone as skilled as you at this. It like, is corrupt or something and like it should be torn down because right. uh, the land could be used for much better purposes. So who needs that hospital? We're going to build a much better one. Oh, okay. I That's think the people said. who are in that hospital right now could probably use that hospital quite a bit. They won't need it when there's a better one. Which will take how long to build? I don't know. I'm not a building person. I don't think you've really thought this through. Um, give me a roll um, to see how convincing you're being. I rolled a seven. I rolled a jail. Uh, yeah, you're jail. pretty terribly convincing, and uh, yeah, I did beat you out on that one. So just yeah, barely. <laughs> um, that, I mean, I don't think Roseanne's the most convincing person either. Um, yeah, no, uh, she is. Uh, she's not really having this conversation. Uh, she was listening to you for a while because you were complimentary, and she likes that. Um, but she doesn't want to hear that her her actions are bad when all she's doing is uh, what her boss told her to do and she believes that it's right and it's going to help everyone at her record label and the rest of the world by extension. She's going right. to she's gonna jog away faster unless you have something else you would like to try. Specifically toughness. I'm going to keep up with her and keep bothering her for like until she's exhausted by it. <laughs> Give me a roll. You can add to that one. Uh, this one I have a 19. Okay, yeah. Um, At the very least, if I'm wearing her down so that she sucks, that counts. I love how you forced toughness to be a social skill. I'm here for this. <laughs> it's like a persistence um, hunter. It works with intimidation too. Yeah, this um, like, this I can bench press you. He's gonna have a point of like, I don't know, like mental exhaustion, aggravation when dealing with you in the future. So um, if you remember that, you can bring that up the next time you encounter Sounds them or you guys are playing against them. I will forget. So this is up to you. <laughs> you have an advantage now. Uh, who's up next? I think Jacob was ready to go. Um, yeah, I was going to do some research on like the band's songs. See if I can, we can try and steal one of them. So we can play oh, it before okay. they do. Kind of research the, uh, the rival record label and the band. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, do you, what skill do you have when you're not transformed? Uh, uh, charisma and stamina. Okay, just give me a flat roll then. Come on, good roll. Ten. You're uh, ten on that roll. 
you're finding a lot of uh, just a lot there's this record label's been around for a while and it's got a huge catalog your rivals as well they've put out quite a few albums it's yeah it's just there's a lot of information here there's a lot of music to listen through um yeah it's kind of you're not really getting you feel like there's something here there's something uh kind of some thread running through this but you're not really quite sure you can't put it all together um that's kind of where you're at okay can i keep trying to like research see if i can figure out what those set list is going to be um yeah you kind of like to figure out for the uh for the battle kind of what their set list will be yeah yeah give me another roll change up dice <laughs> Uh, 17. Okay, yeah, you've got a pretty good handle. You kind of, um, how did you do this? How did you go about researching their set list? Uh, just looking at the popularity of the song and trying to guesstimate what songs they're going to play. Can't really okay. figure out the order. Kind of hanging out, like, on their fan websites and stuff and just yeah. kind of... Okay, perfect. Okay, so you do have an advantage now um, for the band because uh, yeah, you do have a pretty good idea what songs they're gonna they're gonna do, and you can kind of work your own set list around that. Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging around on uh, Sakura Bias's uh, Fortran page, trying to figure out everything I can about them. <laughs> yeah, kind of trying to. Hey, they're not big enough to be anywhere else. They're on Fortran, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, um, who is up next? Uh, do how long have these guys been around this uh Sacrabon Pass, this uh favorite band? Uh the the rival band or the rival yeah. label? The band, the rival band. The band, they've been around about the same time as you guys, so they're, they're still pretty new, you know, a year or two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the flyer handouts, uh, and I'm just going to go everywhere that Dave performed and just kind of like, Hey man, uh, I, I know that you, uh, you're used to like subpar kind of performers out here, but if you want to see some real action, you're going to want to come out to this and just hit up everywhere that Dave been and just make sure that, that now we're at the top of the list. Okay, uh, give me a roll. Uh, do you have a social oh, skill? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have creative yeah. work as my day oh. job, which is dexterity and perception. So, mm, yeah, yeah, unless I can like origami so fold some roll, of them, then. yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not as good as Bunny Hart at uh, <laughs> coming up with different uses for my things. Seven. Mm. <sighs> Uh, you you end up talking to mostly diehard fans of theirs and you're not really making any inroads. You know, the flyers you posted, they, they might bring a couple more people to the show, but like the actual fans you talk to are just not, not feeling it. They they like me. Um, it's all right. We all make bad choices. You, you've clearly cemented yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, did, what was the rival band? We did not name them. Let's name the rival band. Um, chat, feel free to donate to name the rival band. Otherwise, you guys, what what do you got? Uh, pork chop mustaches. That's so good. <laughs> I have to support that one. The squealing donkeys. Is, is this going to be Pigbird's Revenge? Do we need Spanish guitar play? Pigbird's Revenge is also a good band Pigbird's name. Pigbird's Revenge. <laughs> Every time they come on, they're just like, put it down. <laughs> Spanish guitar. So for, for context, this was a villain in the last game, which was an evil pig. But <laughs> actually, I guess a good pig, because they were, you know, it's. Yeah, like, no, he was like an adventurer. He was a good he pig. Burned, he just he just burned down the other town. Out. I don't think they were pretty bad. So good is subjective. I blame him for lighting the fire. <laughs> yeah. you, you blame him accurately, yes. He was liberating all of the pigs. <laughs> All right, what are we going with, guys? I I, I like Pig, Pig Birch Revenge is good. Yeah. Pig 
Pork chop Jilly bowl is, uh... is, is a suggestion from Mr. Dork Tales. Ooh. Jilly bowl is not oh, my Joel. lover. She's Jilly just a band bowl. who thinks that we are lots of fun. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So yeah, they they're big uh, pig birdians. Um. I guess they call themselves now. Um. They're not. They're not feeling it. Um. Yeah. Kind of. Unless you got any other ideas, they're they're just not feeling it. The uh, Tuskovich the, Five. The Tuskovich Five. <laughs> It's like an expedition that just went missing. Like uh, my, like untitled muffins and southern pronouns. Those are all oh, me. Untitled muffins is such a good name for a rival band. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, you guys clearly are not people of culture, so this doesn't apply to you. But uh, if you want to be elevated to a, like a like a like a new state of mind, like you gotta come on, enjoy the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm gonna uh, all this time I would have folded up, rolled up two of the flyers into like drumsticks and just kind of started twirling them. Saka surprise. Saka surprise. Uh, what are you trying to achieve? I'm just trying to, to sway them if I can. Otherwise, you know, I just cut my losses. Um, yeah, give me one more roll. Don't fail me now. There you go, baby. Uh, 13. Higher than seven, so I'm gonna take it. Okay. Yeah, the thirteen, and I'm gonna give you a disadvantage on that one. So, mm. you, you, okay, you, you you have a couple more people who are kind of like, yeah, I guess I kind of do want something new to listen to. Um, they're they're not really like on your side, but they're maybe willing to come show up. So maybe a few more people are kind of yeah. kind of like these guys are also this, kind of badass and cool. There's gonna be a whole bunch of bands there, so even if you don't enjoy us, at least you know you open up your mind to some other new experiences. <laughs> All right. Do we have one more, uh, one more thing to do? I think I was going to see about doing some research, a little bit of research, but also creating like some negative PR for the other band, and and uh, you know try to add, you know, maybe like some TikTok videos or something to help you show go take a little bit on the offensive. No, say, show that these guys are oh, not great and okay. don't vote for them at Battle of the Band. So I'm not going to try I'll try like advertise vote for us. I'm going to go aim strictly on don't vote for these guys. No, there, there's there's scu right, there's scummy right, guys who are trying to attack children. Okay, so just kind of like informative kind of videos and stuff. Yeah, try 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 okay, try uh, use a little bit of a uh, good old rhetoric and convince people that you know these guys aren't great and you know, i could use the nice video equipment at my work to help get some decent quality uh filming and st editing stuff since i don't own a decent computer but i'm i know we've got a lot of demo computers at my employment <laughs> go tech land all right uh give me a roll um do you have any social skills on that i got charisma perfect give me a plus two then because of your uh your tech bonus and the um and the crit. Ouch. Five. That's with the bonus? That's with the bonus. At least it was right. at least I didn't roll a one. Okay. Um these videos are kind of making you guys look bad, unfortunately. People aren't kind of reading them the way they're intended, and they're kind of being like, uh, why do these guys need to put someone else down? So they're kind of uh uh, kind of dropping your popularity one. Ouch. Um, so, Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's where that one's at. Um, you guys are. Is, is there anything else anyone else wanted to do before we move on? We're all good. You guys are all at rehearsal one day. Uh, you're gonna get a call from uh, from from your boss herself. This is uh, Mrs. Hollow. Um, me on the phone you guys i have a great opportunity for you we've got an interview set up for you to promote uh promote the event promote the charity promote yourselves promote this battle and how you're gonna win it 
Uh, make sure you show up at the uh, at the studio on time. You're going to be on TV and on the internet. It's going to be a live interview, so everyone get prepared. Uh, make sure you have a phenomenal costume and make sure you pick the best song to play for them. Um, good luck, everyone. Thanks, Miss Hollow. Thanks, Miss H. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> after the after the boss hangs up the phone like an awkward lo love you too. <laughs> oh, Roxy. You know, considering we're a loud band, you're really quiet. That's okay. I've got loud fingers. Wait, the keyboard is loud. <laughs> My bad. It's a double entendre. Amazing. Okay, guys, let's strategize. I think that um, we're getting a lot of negative press on the internet lately, um, which, like, you know, uh, any press is good press. Sorry like, about that. It's, you know what? You tried, and that's what matters. So we're going to rally together, and we're going to spin that into a lesson of not falling into the pits of jealousy. Um, whether we're jealous or not, doesn't matter. People will eat it up. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm not jealous. Are you jealous? No, but... Oh, we, we're not jealous. No, but we can pretend, and then that way we go, we learned our lesson, and that we should just be happy with who we are and what we have accomplished, like the hospital, and how the hospital has accomplished uh, X, Y, and Z amount of donations um, for uh, helping sick kids. <laughs> yeah, but who are we pretending for? For the people that are calling us selfish. I don't think they're calling us selfish. I think they're just calling us mean for going after them so hard and putting them down. They're calling you everything. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I try not to read the YouTube comments, yeah. but it was never a little read rough. those. Yeah, you never want to read those. No, everybody's a keyboard commander. The key <laughs> yeah, you really got to watch out for those uh, Vine comments as well. Vine is still I don't a thing? really, I don't really understand what cap is, but I don't think it's good. I don't know what that. Is. That's like a Japanese animal, no? I hear we're completely out of cap. No cap at all. Yeah, no. I, I thought no, yeah, I thought cap I was want... good. No cap was bad. I, I don't really no know. Scope. I think right now the thing is we need Riz. <laughs> I've tried to buy Riz on the internet. It doesn't exist, so I don't really know where to get it. Isn't that like a pasta? Like a rigatoni is a Riz? Like isn't that what it's short for? I don't know. Do you have a? Do you have? You know how you have a fireworks cousin? Do you have a Riz cousin? We'll buy Riz off your just, cousin. Just because I'm from New Jersey, I have a <laughs> Riz cousin? Like, that's... That's, 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 not, that's not what I was saying. That's I'm a little just bit a, racist. No, I... So, I'm so Gemma sorry, Bob. Who lives on the internet, the hologram gemgram is just like... <laughs> Why do I work with these people? We are hey, hologram. All, what is Riz? You do have with Riz? Yeah. Can I ask her for help? With what Riz hey, is and where to hey, find Google, it. What's, what's Riz? <laughs> I think Actually, we definitely can I ask need some more about help with Riz. Show. You can. You're gonna get um you're gonna get kind of like all the like a bunch of links to things like um Urban Dictionary and like YouTube videos on how to not be a boomer and um <laughs> uh kind of slang uh TikToks and all of that uh, that you may all peruse at your leisure. <laughs> I look like at three of the articles. I'm like, no, nah, they this is above my head. <laughs> this is, this um, if crazy. anyone wants to uh, try to incorporate the new slang into their uh, into their speech, uh, give me a roll. I will. Oh, I will definitely try to also add this. <laughs> I fight it. I don't want to add it to 10. my vocabulary. <laughs> I got an eleven. All right, so both of you get one new word. Um, when you use it uh, on stage or in a, in a TikTok for the first time, it that 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 video or that that song does really well for you. The crowd crowd loves it. You get an extra boost in your in Instagram page or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just the once. <laughs> All right, you become so you more guys, relatable. 
you guys, um, you have uh, a couple things. Uh, you've got to kind of do some rehearsals. You've got an interview coming up you've got to prepare for. Um, yeah, you've, uh, yeah, what would you guys like to, what would you guys like to do next? No, I think uh, we should practice. We, we should get ready for that interview because we don't know if they're going to ask for like a specific song or if they want us to like showcase a song like... Now... We prepare flashcards for interview questions. I, I got a another question. Can we have pyrotechnics indoors there? Like, what, what is the fire codes for where the interview is going? Is like, no, do not. Absolutely do <laughs> not. No pyrotechnics at hey, the interview. Hey, do not. Hey, I understand. I understand that if we're going to be indoors, it's more like sparklers and snaps you know like what about the small holographic stuff. projections of pyrotechnics there we go yeah, yeah, smoke like yes 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 do we do smoke smoke the back to Jen Graham. <laughs> dry ice yeah 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 a little bit of dry ice a little projector you know we can have glow there. sticks <laughs> well, we could or we could make glow the glowing drumsticks yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's just me. Like, what if we take some of that glow in the dark paint and we kind of spray paint your pianos? Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. We could put, yeah. we could, we could do a little painting on my, my base. Yeah. We can yeah, make a little, yeah, yeah. A little okay. neon glow. Some black, get some black lights during the interview. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and then the lights, lights come out somewhere through the song, and it's as if the studio has lost power, but instead all of our instruments glow. Yeah. Wow. Can I get road flares on my keto? Like, we are the gateway to the future kind of thing, yeah. I like oh. it, I like it. You guys oh. can get a... All of our outfits should light up like the uh, light cycles uh, from Tron. I mean... That's, Ooh, that's... nice some neon glow, neon light yeah. fire outfits. Yeah, that's an, that's ambitious. We gotta make sure they're on our shoes too. So we got some underglow. I wonder if we did something with the black lights and like we painted feathers with like neon paint, and so then we were like glowy Elton John. <laughs> what does mm -hmm. that have to do with the goons? But I just think that like a little pizzazz, a little like catch your eye. Um, a little like you're like half asleep on the couch on a six o'clock news and you're flipping through channels and oh, what a glowing ostrich. Let's check out what's happening. Wait, what time's the interview at? Yeah, uh, it's like a, you know, one of those late night TV shows. Just a pop factor. Yeah, no, I get it. I get could it. also invite some of the children from the hospital to come to it. Oh my god, and we'll give, and we'll like, we'll do, um, one of those like really sent, our song will be like really sentimental, um, like a we are the world kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> and the kids will come and sing, and everyone will be crying, and so they have to give us money. I have to give us oh, money. Oh, and do we ambush people with it too, so we start a normal song, and then the lights go out, the glow starts, and, when and they the kids come, come out. On, the kids oh, the kids do. come out, we're in New York. Yeah. And they sing the This Little Light of Mine while holding glow sticks. <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. And then uh, instead of the drums, I'll start with like, you know, uh, like tambourines and stuff. Oh yeah, and they all, and they all, yeah, and then you teach the kids how to hit them, and it's like a really cute moment. Yeah, yeah, of course. You guys sound like you're super prepared. If you paint some things glow in the dark, I'm gonna whip up an amazing light show for you guys. Sweet. Excellent. To uh, the craft store. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a discount there. <laughs> is it the teacher's discount or is it the I buy all the time discount? It's the know my name and it's sent cool. me a birthday card this year is there a difference <laughs> oh yes yes the i borrow the times more than the teacher discount oh good to know um side note i don't know at what point the halfway mark is on this game does anyone know uh 130 probably five, five minutes from minutes. now yeah oh, okay. five yeah. minutes do you guys want yeah, sorry, to take a five, five ten minute break kind of thing go to the washroom come back kind of thing sure sure uh, sure yeah Perfect. I don't know if uh, if uh, Kelly's around to um, to flip the screen or um... somebody's voice of Kelly. 
Yeah, CC. Disembodied voice. What if we just chant Dork Tales three times? We have to look into like a reflective surface. I think you guys should all dork sing tales. a song. Look into my glasses. Um, we need a reflective. That sounds like a gem thing to do. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly. Please look into my glasses. Are you? Take it away. We might be doomed. We could also take it in ships where some of us scoot off to, to do stuff and the rest oh. of us just vibe and go wop 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 I was born in 89 and I have two older brothers. I, I, yeah. Mm. Mm. I lived for a year in the 90s. A whole year. So I did. And you, you know, survived. Goodness. I'm a, I'm, I know. I'm a 90s child. I survived Y2K. Honestly. <laughs> what a, what a. Example I was in high school then. The um, tragedy of our era. <laughs> Yeah, what is your favorite 90s song? Ooh. Probably for me, Velvet the Vote Poison. <laughs> has to be the top. Yeah. Uh, my, my, mine, mine, if it's, we're going 90s, that, that's a hard one for me. Favorite 90s song would be Leave It Alone by Moist. All right. If we're not getting a, um, if we're not getting a, uh, a screen, um, did you guys want to keep going for now, or did you guys need the break right now? I think. I mean, we're, we're sort of already paused for for the moment. Why don't we just take quick shifts and we pop in and out? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And then we're going to talk about chatting. Break. We can talk about nineties, eighties music. Perfect. All right. Everyone, give me your favorite. You guys want to go on a break? Song. Oh, there he yeah. is. There hello, go. hello. Sorry, I was. Oh. I was we just, figured. I was eating. Sorry. Uh, time to go on break. How dare you take care of yourself and have nourishment? Never! No self-care. No self-care. Break, though. Break. Oh, you're on. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're going to be transitioning back into game. Are you all ready? Players, are you ready to raise some money for kids? Woo! Woo! Transitions. Woo! All right. <laughs> What's this? Don't worry about it. Uh, very okay. ready. All right, swapping back in in three, two, one. <clears throat> You're back. All right, welcome, welcome, everyone. We are back to more Hollow and the Gemgrams, where we have our wonderful band, Electra and the Goons, with six O's, uh, ready to uh, ready to rock. Uh, we are currently preparing for a uh, big charity Battle of the Bands concert coming up, and. Uh, what would you guys like to do next? Um, I also wanted to remind you guys that you can use the um, the costume uh, skill to kind of, or I guess, ability to also like disguise yourself in the real world as well. Um, if you did want to do any sneaky uh, investigations or anything. Um, I believe we're working on getting some neon added neon glow stuff added to our costumes. Perfect. Recruiting some children for the interview. Do you and... mean that we could like disguise ourselves as non fancy band people and like walk into an office and look like a totally different business person? That kind you of could, thing? Yes. Yes. So can we do a flash mob concert? Can I just call up J Dog uh, and ask him to get us some kids? <laughs> Can you give me more that tiny bit? Give me a roll for that one. It's a fuse that connection. I think you get a you get a plus one on this because you've built a connection with J Dog. <laughs> well, it does not matter because J Dog and I are not that good of friends because I got a three. Uh, yeah, he's like, uh, I we're really busy over here right now. Actually, um, we've been having like. More people come by every day. It's just really stressful. I, I'm sorry, I can't help you out right now. Okay, no worries, J-Dog. Can um, I try and uh, persuade him? You can, you'll be at a disadvantage. Okay. Go for it. Lucky dice. 18. 
Come on, okay, J-Dog, you... it's morbid time. Let's do this. Is that what you say? Yes. <laughs> he, um, he, he's like, thank you, it is morbid time. <laughs> um, he's totally gonna help you guys out. <laughs> Um, who wants to um, give a roll for your uh, your painting creation uh, craft works? Uh, someone's got creativity as their bonus. I can't remember who it was. But what... Well, I think you choose one of the two options, right? Yeah, but no, I think... No, I think you get both. <laughs> no, you get both, yeah. Yeah. Oh. My Let day job is creative my little character work, but... One moment. That, that doesn't have, like, costuming on it. Have, like, sorry, well, yeah, they we're in daytime, though, so well, I think Sarah that would work. You need the skill to help with um with this task. All right, I'll do it. I got I got hands. <laughs> I can I can throw or I can create, such as uh, such as the gift. So pa paint accurately. Yeah, that takes hands. dexterity. The gift of the hands. Oh, one cannot. Does this turn out there. looking like a fantastic, high-quality set, or like a children's art project? Well, uh, with the plus one, I get thirteen total. So, not bad. Of... Yeah, no, it's fine. It looks solid. Passable. It's, it's good. I'm good to go. Um, dun, dun. did you guys prepare any um like uh things to say or how to answer questions or anything like that? Um, well, we're getting ready to. Do you think we should look more into the connection between this record label and whatever's happening oh with the God. hospital property? Yeah, we should. Roxy, you're uh, you're a fitness trainer, right? Yes. <clears throat> do any of the um, d does the guy whose business card I have go to your gym? Uh, I feel like a he's question. a the fitness bro. Is he a fitness oh. bro? Someone give me a roll. It's me. I'm rolling. I rolled a nine. Nice. Okay. Uh, you have no idea. You've never seen him. Can I Facebook stalk this man and see if he you goes can. to a gym? Give me a roll. I want you to know what all of this is happening. I've created a single flashcard. And on the front, it says, do you rock? And on the back, it says, yes. <laughs> I got a 19. Phenomenal. You get an extra, extra point uh, when the interview comes up. <clears throat> Game time. Or, what was that? Got a 19. Yeah, no, uh, this guy's all over um, on the internet. He's, yeah, he's, you can see kind of who he is and get some, like, details about what he does in his daily life. Um, I, yeah, like, uh, you, you can tell that he kind of, he, he definitely goes to a gym, but you don't know which one. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of where you're at. Okay. Um, does, is there anything on his profile that says that he might be, um, financially benefiting from Seca Buffalus, uh, records? Um... You can see some things on his profile that kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit like weird for this kind of city official. He, um, you know, he, he recently had this really flashy vacation, you know, top of the line hotel with like jet skis and, you know, like five star meals and just kind of, kind of some really, uh, really very stuff that you guys haven't even done, even though you're a pretty successful band. Uh, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. What if we disguise ourselves as the rival band or a record label employee and go have a conversation with them? I like it. Let's do it. All Ag right. Agreed. Uh, what are you guys going to disguise yourselves as? The band. No. Oh, I think if you guys are the band and then I'm like an intern. <laughs> Like, I just think we should be record label interns because no one cares about interns, thus high turnaround rate, you know? Like. Perfect. We could say we need to talk about, you know, the, the plan for the event or, or something like that. And the boss sent us. I don't know who the boss is, but the person right. I was talking to kept talking about the boss. Mm. I don't have. Yeah, don't we're going to go over the plan. 
Well, we yeah, can easily have... pull up the producer for the record company. That shouldn't be too hard information to find. Yeah, yeah the CEO on the is listed online. Um, yeah, yeah, would you guys don't... like to name them? Chat, would you like to donate to name the rival uh, record label executive? Who's got ideas? Bob Saget. <laughs> right, remember right now, it's Bob Saget. We're going with Saget, though. <laughs> oh no, um, we're I'm gonna listening. have some aristocrat jokes going. I'm listening to like a mom music playlist and currently someone called Eddie Money <laughs> is playing, so I vote Eddie Money. He is, I he love is that. a fantastic artist. That's that's perfect for an evil record label CEO. <laughs> yeah, what if we walked in and told them that we were dissolving the band? That's gotta put them in chaos, right? Or oh, we just can't, we can't work together anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just yeah. stage a band fight. Yeah, yeah. Or we're that's worried why, about that's why the what's happening here. with the hospital. They don't look. Maybe we've developed a conscience. Distraction. <laughs> yeah. Can Can I go up to one of the describe myself as a band member? Go up to another band member and say that I slept with their girlfriend and I feel bad about it and try and get yes. them to fight elsewhere. Technically, oh. yes, but I don't think you guys have yet decided um, what you're doing and where you're going. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Do we want... Just punch him in the throat. Do we, do we <laughs> want to do like a split thing? Not not that I'm promoting splitting up parties. Don't do that. But <laughs> um, do we want to do a no, thing? We're not where, in like... a dungeon. So <laughs> true. Um, do we want to do a thing where some of us are interns and then some of us are starting inter band drama? Because I think all of us pretending to be the band probably not going to work very well, but I think disguising one member to just cause drama um, works really well. And then also as interns, if people ask us questions about things, we're like, I, 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 don't, I get don't the coffee. Know this. So yeah, hablo espanol. Yeah, All right, like, why would you think I would know this information? <laughs> Let's go through each of you and then you can tell me uh, who you're disguising yourself as, who you're trying to talk to and what your goal is. Um, who wants to go first? Um, I'll describe myself as the lead guitarist. I'm just going okay. to go up to the drummer and just try and start some uh, drama between the two. Being like, uh, hey, I slept with your girlfriend or hey, I slept with your sister. Thought you should know that we're kind of a thing now. Give me a roll. That is a six. All right. Um. Dude, my sister's dead. Stop being an asshole. Um. What Wait, was wasn't it your sister? Oh shit, maybe it was the other band member's sister. So I, I don't really care about your families at all. Oh fuck, you're so funny, man. <laughs> you fucking asshole. He's chill. He he's, he's just thinks you're being a being a jerk because you're always jerks. Okay. Now we, you we can try to do though. anything? Um, I go up to the singer, try the same thing. Give me a roll. That was even worse. That was a three. <laughs> Look, would you just person. go back to work? Like, come on, we gotta practice. This is important. We we gotta win this thing. Come on. We don't need to practice. Those guys suck. We know that. Come on. Yeah, we know they suck, but Eddie's gonna literally murder us if we don't get these songs right. Come on. Back to work. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm just gonna lean over to Mr. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna join in on their uh on their practice session, see if I can. This isn't um, going according to plan, right? Did you do <laughs> any sort of, um, like, I think so. I did, did research, research their music. Where the guitarist actually is at this point in time? No. 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 The guitarist is, is absolutely going to walk into the room. What do you do? Um, I'm going to say, who the are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> like, I'm going to try and just play off like he's in disguise and not me. Oh, give me a roll. <laughs> Come on, chat. Donate to me. Help me out here, please. Actually, I'm going to switch up dice. Come on. 
If anyone does want to give Jacob like the barest chance of making it through this, uh, you could donate right now. I love the encouraging words there. The barest chance. Oh. The odds aren't good. Uh, we didn't volunteer him. Like he he chose this path in his future. Uh, and like he volunteered his tribute. Oh. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Um, so the Gemgram app is gonna like whisper in your ear, like, dude, you just gotta get out of here. Like, just be like, oh, oh, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like, I, I'm the real guitarist. Follow me, and then you gotta hide, man. You gotta hide. Okay, I, I do that. All right, uh, you, you successfully make it out of the situation. Everyone's a little bit confused, but they don't know it was you. Like, they don't know who was responsible for this. <laughs> um, they they are not they are not disrupted in the way you had hoped though. Oh, should I say that or no? <laughs> I think you should. Enough as it is, so yeah, it's it's it will yeah. Be so as I'm leaving, like I gotta go see the sister nerds later. Um, <laughs> the big <the> bigger guns. <laughs> As this is happening, I want to disguise myself as an intern and go talk to the building contractor. Perfect, give me a roll. Come on, dice. I think Roxy's gonna come with you. Definitely not Perfect, gonna give me a roll as well then. Sure. I rolled a two. My brain was like, that's not a two, it's a two. I rolled a two. <laughs> it's a two. All right, so, um. Right away at the um, at the kind of like the uh, security reception kind of thing, um, one of you gets waved right on through. Like, yes, please go right ahead. And the other's like, wait a minute, I don't recognize you. Wait, why does your card look like that? What's what's going on? Uh, there must be a misprint. So I'm a new intern. I don't really know where I'm going. Uh, you gonna? Do you want to kind of like? How are you trying to convince them? Uh, poorly. <laughs> uh, give me a roll. Use, use your toughness again. Just pretend you don't speak English. Uh, she's got an 18 on this one. She's just okay. sort of trying to socialize and be convincing. She's not very good at this. Um, look, you gotta go through HR. Look, I'll, I'll send a, uh, I'll send someone with you. They'll take you right on up. You, you got someone who's like ready to kind of stick by your side and guide you, guide you on up. Uh, what would you okay, like that sounds do? good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I should fully just do that now. <laughs> Sorry Perfect. for being a Yeah, you're going through the HR process now, and they're trying to, like, find your file and stuff. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> but also sounds like a good opportunity to steal all of their HR records. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, 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 the HR woman goes, I can't find you anywhere in here. What did you say your name was again? Uh, Rebecca name last? Rebecca name? Yeah, no, I don't have any records. It should be right here. Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. She's going to go to, like, open the files and start, like, scrolling through them. Uh, ma'am, you can't be in the files. These are HR personnel files. They are private, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Is there, like, a staircase nearby? A, a staircase? Yeah, the emergency She's not, sorry, not asking. Asking the DM, not asking the, the character. Oh, um, uh, yes, you've kind of, it's a standard office building, so there's, like, emergency exits. That sounds great. Um, I think she's going to take the drawer and book it. <laughs> Give me a roll, um, and what's your, uh, do you have a physical, uh, Strength and toughness? You have that one? Yeah. Our next uh, for, for, for day up. job. Do, do I use day job here? No, you're transformed right now. Then I don't, no. Yeah, give me um, a roll. I rolled a 12. You successfully wrenched this drawer out of the thing, but she is like, uh, trying to block you. What would you like to do? Can I try and help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you are in a different place right now because, uh, unless you followed, uh, followed her. I feel like I would have. Okay, so you're like in the hallway, kind of like yeah. watching. What would you like to do? Um, I think I'm gonna come in. Uh, I'm gonna see like she's blocking the door, um, and I'm gonna be like, um, excuse me, Mr. Money really likes to keep a very tidy and efficient workplace, and so I need you to keep the class clown antics down, please. Um, he's catching wind of this, and he's kind of in a bad mood, and I look at the HR lady, and I go, 
And you know what he says? HR tends to be the first to go. Uh, give me a roll. Can I add my charisma to this? Yeah. That's an 11. Uh, you are intimidating her. She's been at the brunt of uh, Eddie's moods in the past. Um, and she's not pleased about it. So she, you are successfully distracting her, basically. Um, Rock you guys is going to like it. Tell that. You're going to try to run? Give me a roll. Uh, I have a 14 this time. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, you uh, you have successfully kind of like knocked her to the ground as you kind of like run with this like very heavy drawer of files. Um, did you just grab this drawer randomly or like was there something? One hundred percent. It's like an HR records drawer. Hopefully, it's like where they would find the names and the files and stuff like that for employee records. Like she's hoping this is useful information. We're in some way. All right. Well, where are you going? Uh, downstairs. <laughs> Just running down She's the just gonna run. staircase. Oh my god! And uh, uh, Elaine is going to help pick up the HR lady and go. Uh, this should not be your problem. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go call security and I'm going to handle this. Please take some time, debrief, <laughs> have a coffee, um, maybe think about getting locks. But you know, I think you're doing great. And then she's going to walk away. Yeah. That's an 18 plus one, 19. <laughs> yeah, no, she- she thinks you're really nice and helpful. I'm just an intern. <laughs> that was so fucking crazy. Oh my god, who so, acts like that? Oh my god. Listen, I people are just so stressed out about this job, you know? Like, Mr. Money likes a tight ship. Um, and you know, sometimes that just gets to people. Not everyone is built this way. You're so anyway, right. you must have been here for a while. God. Yeah. I think I'm going on my third internship contract. Uh, they just really like me, but they don't want to pay me. No. So, <laughs> but we'll talk about it later, girl. We'll get some martinis. I gotta go deal with that. So, absolutely. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get her. All right, where are you two now? <laughs> So I think Roxy's probably planning to just go all the way down the stairs and like out an emergency exit. <laughs> all right. Um, both of you give me one more roll. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna roll the evil dice from earlier that I put to Come the on, side. Come on, get a one. Nice I want to hear the fire alarm. Uh, <laughs> I hey, got hey, a nat 20. I rolled a nat 20. <gasps> what? <laughs> Did you both roll a nat 20? Yeah. Well, I guess the drawer has something good in it then. <laughs> <laughs> has records of someone having like court ordered payments or something being taken out of their out of their paychecks or something. Um, this drawer has some files that were filed wrong. They are not all personnel records. There is some weird financial transaction records in this file. Suspicious. Wait, look at those. Investigate. Oh, is um. Is the contractor's file in there? Can I catch them on a technicality? Um, the contractor's file is not in there um, because he's not uh, an employee. Um, an investor. If you investigate the um, the financial records, there's some weird stuff on that, though. Perfect. Um, if he's an investor, um, Roxy, that means that if I as an intern casually drop that we're undergoing some new like changes and casually drop these discrepancies that's gonna scare him off from wanting to be a part of this which should take a huge chunk of money away from scapapopolis records is the hope sounds like a plan to me okay i didn't even know what i was stealing i just wanted to steal no i love that (laughs) i love that for you (laughs) Is it just you two who are looking over these records? I think can we can we bring Gem into this too? Like call. Can we get Gem to scan them and send them to the band? Exactly, scan and digitize. That's a great idea. Um, Both of you, give me a roll. I roll Uh, four. I I got a two. (laughs) (laughs) Gem doesn't think this guy looks like an investor. Um. 
But these records are like super weirdly kind of written. Like they're written to be, uh, what's the word for encrypted? But like when you do it manually, um, like they're they're disguised. Oh, like they're written in a cipher. Yeah, um, they're coded. Kind of code to them. So it is it is hard to figure out what's actually going on here. But Gem doesn't think this guy's an investor. Okay. Can we try and break the cipher? Yeah, give me a roll. I was gonna say that maybe let's send it to the rest of the band too. <laughs> it just says help. <laughs> um, just that one HR lady. <laughs> eleven. What are you doing to try to break the cipher? I uh, see if there's any repetitions in it, because uh, common letters. Okay, so just kind of manually like investigating it. Yeah, trying to figure out if I can see um four letter words that have common letters, where so I can try and figure it out and just manually try and decipher it. Or see if there's a phrase around it somewhere that can be used to help decipher and it. And a new donation has just come in from me oh. because I hate you all. Twenty-five dollars oh. to make you all sing "Down with the Sickness," including the Waz. Wah. Wah. Sing what? Or actually, because you guys all like transformed and stuff, we should be getting a song. We should be so uh, give it give it a rip, guys. <sighs> Uh, I do not know that. Can you so. feel that? Uh, I'm trying to pull shit. lyrics right now. Wow. 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 What song? <laughs> Down with the sickness by the stars. Down with the sickness. Um, I gotta listen to Okay, but we gotta now. turn this into like 80s synth rock. We gotta do an 80s synth rock version of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's got like the guitar in the background. Um, The soft, like, the, there's like the symbol roll <laughs> yeah and then it's instead of it being like Wah! it's like the whistle tones it's like <laughs> some mariah carey <laughs> is she too young for that to be a reference a i don't care <laughs> um yeah. yeah take it away roxy <laughs> So I'm definitely listening to the song right now to try to remember how it goes. I'm trying to find the lyrics. So, oh, I... It's like, drowning deep in my sea of loathing. Broken, your servant, I I think that's the tune for it. Yeah. Um, at this point in the game, I'm also going to say, at any point, if you fail a roll or don't get what you intended, uh, feel free to offer if uh, you want to sing a song, and uh, it might be uh, mm. able to help you. Mm. So maybe this will be the song of cracking the cipher here with the power <laughs> of yeah. synthwave disturb lyrics. Mm. Um, do we want to go for the chorus? I only kind of half remember. Yeah, let's do the chorus. I think that's a, yeah. I think that's a good place. <clears throat> I think that's where everybody can. Is that the, really the get, up, get up? Come on, yeah, get, get up, up, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Yeah, yeah that's it. Of course. How, how do we? Because we're gonna be so out of sync with each other over pain. Well, I see. Yeah. I think. I think we just popcorn bounce them. I feel like. Yeah. Okay, we okay, okay. Come on, there are three of them here. So we can be like, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get, down. get up, come on, on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up your hate and let it flow into me. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Your mother, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You, that's a word my children can't say. Cut up and come down with the sickness. <laughs> yeah, this is the gift that has given to me. It gave it to me. Yay. I can see inside you, inside the sickness you. is rising. It's gonna be stuck in my head now, crying. <laughs> Good work, what have guys. you done? Mr. Dorf I will never forget you for this. All right, due to the, the magic of your uh, hacking, crypto cracking montage, um, you guys have, uh, Jem and you guys have figured out how to how to read these uh, these records. And it looks like it's a record of not only um, embezzling uh, going into the uh, Eddie's private accounts, but also um, payments sent out to officials all, all over town on the bankroll. Some people are getting a little uh, wheels greased. Looks that way. What if we turn this into a song during the interview? Oh, 
Ooh. with evidence coming up on the screen behind us. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, like yeah. To and light. presentation. Yeah, we we can use some of those fancy like Photoshop skills so that the, it looks like a firework and then it just kind of like drizzles down into the evidence. Oh, it's like it's all I I. And, and we could you know have it digitize the evidence and send to a local prosecutor during the presentation. I got a better idea. We use the glow in the dark paint so we don't see it until the lights go out. And then the well, we uh, have black holograms come on. that can do this. Yeah, but you we do don't need to ruin our paint yeah. job for that. No, 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 no. no. We, we yeah. gotta use the glow in the dark paint. It's gotta be more theatrical than that. Always we're theatrical. We gotta use practical effects. We're gonna use it. Not with these about. new fancy, fancy AI effects. Hey! <laughs> don't insult Jim. Sorry, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, listen. You're the only JJ good AI. loves you, Jim. Don't worry. Yeah, no. You, you're the you're the good AI effects. Don't worry. I like you. If I'm not allowed Thank to you. use fireworks, this is the next best thing. Okay, like I'm, you gotta give me this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you guys want to do before you go to the interview? I think while they were having this uh, HR shenaniganery, uh, I wanted to sneak into the band's practice room like a like a janitor. Oh, and that's right. A couple of you haven't done your um, your sneaky bits yet. What what else do we have? That's fine. Yeah, no, I just wanted to go in and just uh, and just ruin as much of their backup equipment as possible. Whatever they're not using, just cut uh, guitar <laughs> strings, puncture, drum espionage. Sets. Just you know, give me a roll. Black ops shenaniganery of my own. Uh, I'm transformed now, right? So. Yeah. Give me, yeah, give me one roll. So it'll be, uh, that's going to be strength then, I think. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh! 19 on the die means dirty 20. Okay, and then give me a second roll. Oh, I don't like that. I was really excited about that one roll. Yeah, that's a lot less. That's two. Oh, okay. Well, no one has found you. You successfully like snuck into the building, <laughs> snuck in. Everyone thinks you're a janitor. You're like super, uh, you know, uh, low key. Um, your destruction is uh, causing some ruckus and uh, security shows up. What do you do? Oh, uh, hey, uh, is I got lost here. It's my first day. Uh, do you what know? are you doing, man? Why? What hey. is this? Hey, Someone call I, the cops. Listen. Sorry. Okay, arrest him. A, 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 a broom fell. I tried to fix it, and then I just got tangled up in all these instruments. Sorry. And I'm going to run. You're... <laughs> Give me a roll. <laughs> you got it. Oh, I'm I'm like, the I like the dynamics we have of, like, give an excuse <laughs> that just... <laughs> you got to wait to see if it works. I learned it from it. watching you. <laughs> uh, 14 on the die. Tell <laughs> Rock, she's a bad role model. <laughs> Roxy trains us all, and like we go jogging as a band. And Roxy goes, "Okay, guys." <laughs> this poor security no, guard is the getaway like, jogger, trying to be like, like the wait, the broom. What happened? What like he's almost like in entertaining this, and then you start running. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have a head start. Um, but he's chasing you. Uh, what what are you trying to do? Are you trying to hide? Are you try to just escape? Uh, what are you, what no, are you I'm doing? just trying straight up escaping. Like I'll use whatever mop or broom that I already had in my hands. Uh, I'll just toss it back so that it, it tries to trip him up as best as possible, and then just hightail it out of the zigzag. Give me a roll. Jump over a car outside. Do the whole like cool uh, hood slide if I can. Well, we'll Eighteen cool on the die. Is. Okay, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, no, you're you're out uh, out maneuvering uh, this guy. Uh, a couple more security guards show up along the way, but like, yeah, you kind of are like brandishing your mop at them, and it's it's working. Um, you successfully uh, escape outside. Uh, you you really only kind of like damaged a little bit of stuff. It wasn't really like a successful uh, sabotage mission, but it I'll wasn't it. unsuccessful. Uh, and I just <laughs> yell out, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, baby. Remember that. <laughs> the security guards are like, we don't get paid enough for this crap. <laughs> don't they I really know don't. it. All right. Oh, bum, bum. Okay. Um. Anything else we're doing in disguise? Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to the contractor. 
Um, but if we know he's not an investor, I don't really know what I'm gonna do other than try and figure out why he's trying to tear down the building. Well, he's on the he's on the payroll. He's getting paid. He's paid. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go talk to him as Mr. Money's new intern. Um, and he's, I think Mr. Money's probably gonna get a little. I don't know. I feel like I've already painted Mr. Money as an egomaniac, so I'm just gonna make his ego inflate a little further, which hopefully also like butts up against his ego issues as a gym bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I do. But we can do that later, like before the right before the concert, because I know there's someone else that still hasn't gone. <clears throat> I was thinking what would be fun is. I would like to sign up this our rival band to go on a radio show similar to like Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to impersonate the band's manager and uh, book them a nice slot on a show that will hopefully give them some bad PR press after they go on it. Okay, so you're trying to book your rivals on a yes. On a I, I, I don't think we should go on. The <laughs> Go on something a little bit uh sketchy might create some infighting and you know that kind of thing all right uh give me a roll uh, how are you doing this how are you doing this well i'm gonna first put, uh make sure i know who their band manager is okay. and then i'm gonna contact the the radio stations uh to uh see about booking them a time slot and then call the man actual manager and uh, say that they'd be, invite them to come on the show to give them some uh, good PR. All right, give me a roll. And my desk is running away from me. 13. All right, yeah, no, you, you got the this interview booked, and now you're talking with the, uh, the actual manager as if you're the radio station. Uh, what do you say? Because the manager does not want his, this band to go on this show. Oh, you know, um, I'm going to assume it's equivalent to Howard. So, you know, he, he's a really big fan of them. And he and we think that he'd be able to put a good light and spin on, you know, motivating the fan base to help support them during the battle of the bands. Let them see the, you know, the more natural side of who they actually are as people. You know, let the get let their hair down. Have It'll be more of a casual conversation, but we need to let the fans see who they are behind the music look this just this isn't good advertising for us we don't think it's gonna 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 be the right kind of promotion like i mean unless you got something else to offer we're just we're not feeling it well you know we of course will make sure that that we can be able to play a lot of their music for for the week building up to the battle of the bands to make sure that their songs get a little bit more more rotation on the airwaves give them a little make sure that they're getting a lot more publicity and pr i'll give me a roll who are the band <laughs> 12. This he's leaning into it but he's not convinced it's kind of like i mean yeah we'd like to be on the radio more but like not necessarily in association with this i just i don't know well you know every other band that's come on has has begun at least got raised five points in the billboard top 100 when they've been on after following the interviews this will be a great shot for them uh give me another roll Another 12. Look, we can do, we can, we can give you like a, you know, a, a one like five minute kind of brief, like kind of TikTok style. That's it. That's all we can do for you. How about we, you guys send us the questions you're willing to answer in advance and then we make sure it's, keep some areas off limits during the conversation. So it won't be completely free for. All right. Now, we do know, we do know that we, he, uh, you know, he, he, he likes to go a little, you know, willy nilly sometimes, but we can keep some areas a little bit cleaner. All right. They're going to agree to it uh, by sending over like a very specific contract. Um, so the, um, the, 
the damage to the band is pretty limited because the manager does know what he's doing and he kind of made sure that any questions that were going to be a little more uh negative publicity were uh were limited basically but yeah no it's it's made a couple of people go oh i don't think i want to go to their show anymore so a little, a little bit of a success there you kind of you you got you you achieved the thing um and they're kind of like why are we on this show what the hell are we wasting our time doing this they should have been practicing wasting time yes <laughs> there you go <laughs> Small victories. <laughs> All right, is anyone else going to um, the um, building inspector? Uh, I'll join them. Okay. They're my assistant. <laughs> yeah, I think Roxy's avoiding infiltration for the moment. <laughs> After uh, that, <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, it um, went swimmingly with the H the stuff. HR lady still texting me about getting martinis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have an extra I have an extra gender outfit in case you want to go like super low key incognito, so just be aware of the avenues there. Um you absolutely have a contact of that HR lady now. Amazing. Relevant at any point. <laughs> uh all right, you guys are investigating. Um what do you do? What's your goal? So I think that because he's chronically online, I know it's not what that means, but I just think it's funny to say, um, we find him via geotagging um, <laughs> where he is. And then I just go, oh, good. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, Dugard, um, uh, Mr. Money sent me to chat with you. Uh, we have a few details to discuss. And I just kind of sit down at his table. Damn, right. I um. Yes, so Mr. Money wanted me to come and find you, um, especially with this whole hospital uh, debacle that's happening. Mr. Money feels that we really should be pushing for a faster closure. Look, and we have done everything you asked of us. What, do you, what more could you possibly want? Um, I understand that you're frustrated, but please understand that I'm just relaying Eddie's wishes. And as we both know, Eddie can be a difficult man um i think that he, he just feels that you're not trying hard enough and he uh is going to do um financial repercussions um on your end to make up for the lost wages what lost, what are you even talking about lost wages and then i pull out i want to pull out his payroll sheet because i have it and go, so you see here where we're paying you in a uh, scholarship fund that we're just gonna, because of how long this is taking, that scholarship fund is gonna be allocated to other investors that, or other um, contractors that just are more in line with Mr. Money's views. Uh, give me a roll. Oh my gosh, please roll, roll well. Uh, can I add my charisma to that? Yep. 14. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, he's he's legit scared. He's, he's concerned. This is bizarre and weird because he's done everything you guys asked. And Boss, uh, we're going to start we... paying you in Bitcoin. We're going to pay you in cash now. You're not going to make an a, uh, interest on the uh, what we're paying you anymore. I don't understand what you guys want. What more can you be asking for? The building is condemned. Like it's gonna be shut down. I can't. The, the whole thing is by the system. I can't do anything differently. What Mr. do you want, Mr. Dugard? I don't really know why you're yelling at me, considering I'm an unpaid intern. Um, but I think that we just need to take a deep breath. Mr. Money thinks it's really bad press to have skibbidlebubbadup records. Uh, shut down a hospital so he actually would like you to instead then why did he ask me to shut down a hospital sir how I, psychotic is this man mr money has a mind that is beyond most reasoning and i think that you and i can work very well together and i i'm going to go uh, you know, there's that little dinky band. Oh, what are the, what do they call themselves? The goons. Anyways, they're not very much of a threat to us here at Skidabababababab uh, Records. Uh, but I think that doing a friendly gesture of awarding 
a safe and clean hospital bill will under the guise of Mr. Money's uh, leadership will up that scholarship fund by at least three three times the amount. Uh, give me another roll. Yeah, no, that's fair. What are you doing right now? Um, I don't know. I guess just trying to like assist her and uh, Look professional. jump in whenever okay. I can. Fair enough. Yeah, just like, it's always best when there's like two people there. One usually does the talk and the other one jumps in every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love a hype man. <laughs> yeah. I go, to, I go to 16. Okay, yeah, no, he's upset. He's confused. He's like, okay, so you want me to retract the con- condemned building report and put put it past, past the building? Money wants me to pass the building now? Yeah, so money would actually like, it's so... It's this business model called giving back under the guise of charity. We're actually going to make our gross profits uh, at a 15.5% interest rate um, by doing this and allowing this hospital to stay open with you as one of the leading ma- chair member boards. Do you how do you know how much profits are in uh, I'll do whatever you guys want. You say you want me to shut down the building. I'll shut it down. You say you want me to pass the building. I'll pass the building. Like, I don't care. Like, we had a deal. I'm doing my end of the deal. Like, are we done here? We, we also want you to make a large charitable donation to the hospital as well. That, of course, we will pay for. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, come on, guys. Yeah. I'm not the one with the money here. Mr. So we, we'll, you got to make the donation yourself, then we'll pay you back under the table. Whatever you guys want. Be... Right. I already told you I'm on board. Like, sure. Yeah. Let's do we it. Want... Send me Thank the... You, you got to make a $2 million stand... donation just to the hospital, and then we'll pay you back. I stand up and put my hand out. Um, it's such a pleasure. And Mr. Money would like to pretend this conversation never happened. He doesn't like to know when he's made a bad judgment error in his business plans and doesn't like to be reminded of it as part of his sound mind meditation regimen. Um, I listen, <laughs> you and I under, are on the same page, are on the same wavelength. Yeah, get out of my way, buddy. Um, I was here to cat. I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> uh, cats, cat stream, cat. <laughs> um, oh, and the donation that you make is going to be during the Electra and the Goons portion of the charity event, just to throw off suspicion. So, thank you kindly. Give me another roll there. Give me another. That's fair. Roll. Both of us do it. Yeah, we're both involved now. Fifteen, fourteen plus one. Okay. Uh, I do have charisma, so 16, 15 plus one. All right. Um, He's like, get out, get out. Like, whatever. God, did, why is this still in my life? I did everything you want. Go away. I'm done. Sure, whatever. Fine. It was a pleasure doing business with you. And I, uh, we look up. I, like, straighten my little suit jacket that I'm wearing, and then I, uh, I walk. <laughs> and then we leave, and then as we're leaving, we do, like, the high five thing and then i think we do yeah. to the concert i think is what we should do to the interview yes perfect all right are you guys all don't don't be suspicious, don't don't be suspicious. <laughs> I, yeah i feel like that's the song of this one i'm proud of you guys you came out of there without anything stolen uh so we're, we're moving <laughs> on up <laughs> We didn't steal anything. We didn't break anything. We did good. We didn't get chased by security guards. <laughs> we don't bring up old shit. That's what I, that's what I'm learning right now. Is that we don't bring up old shit. Keep moving forward. <laughs> all right. So and you guys are all suspicious. for your interview slash uh, song you're gonna sing slash presentation. Um, as you are getting ready in, uh, as, you, as you're walking to the building for the, you know, for this this TV show, um, uh, everyone roll me a perception. And we're in band hall right now, correct? You are, yes. 17. Sweet. I'm continuing my beautiful record of rolling ones. Yeah. Wow. 21. Oh. Yeah, I rolled a one as well. Because I get plus one for perception. So we had... Sorry, a 21, two ones. And a 17. I got 13. 17 and 13. Okay, so 
Uh, 13 and 17, when you get uh, into your into the green room to kind of get ready, uh, you kind of you kind of feel like there's there's someone like in the hallway, like kind of sneaking around. But every time you go to look, you can't actually find anyone or see anyone suspicious. Um, but yeah, you're kind of feeling like there was someone out there. Um, mm. Twenty one, you uh, you absolutely see uh, see one of the members of the rival band uh, sneaking around a corner. Um, what do you do or say? Uh, I, I follow him or them. All right, give me a roll. Eighteen. This dice is like me today. I found my dice for the game. All right, you. Uh, you. Oh, success- um, would be as well with a uh, perception with the following or no? Uh, no, not for for following. Okay. Um, my two ones. You are also following. Um, following this. Um, you two are going to get locked in a closet. Um, accidentally. And oh, no. struggling to break out in order to get back onto the show on time. Which are the two ones? Myself and me. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, then uh, I might have to sing sadly you. in that closet at some point then. You would probably I, have I do to need sing, to sing for charity. Out, so we don't do that right now though. Start coming up with some lyrics for that song. Oh, I'm ready to go. I, I have a very specific thing that I need to do for charity. Perfect. For All right, charity. um, Jacob, you uh you see this band member slip into kind of uh, the stage, which is not uh, open yet, but kind of all the uh, instruments. And you uh, you you see kind of some tampering is happening. Um, cables are being cut and things are being uh, kind of destroyed. What do you do? Um, how long do we have until the performance? Um, it's very soon. There's a, the, uh, the lights are about to come on and the staff is about to start. Uh, so there won't be time for me to fix what they destroyed after they leave. Yeah. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna go up to them. Or go up to them and... Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> and just trying to like, start a sing-off battle with them. Perfect. Um, they're like, hey, you ruined our stuff. This is absolutely what you get when you mess with us. You sabotage our equipment. Guess what? None for you either. What are you talking about? We did nothing. Uh, give me a roll. <laughs> Do I know what he did, though? Do you? Did you guys I don't know. Did he thing? tell us what he did? Do we know that? Do Who I know that? Who is destroying the rivals' uh, stuff? That was Bobby. Hey, Bobby, did you tell the band you destroyed their stuff? Or try to, failed or to. Try to? <laughs> Not at all. That was that was my failure, and I'm gonna take that to the grave. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about that. So okay, so you're like okay, so you're 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 honestly innocent of what you did. You're just. Uh, <laughs> You're just act, you know, kind of being like, why would you do this? We never did anything to you. Yeah. I, I know nothing about what you're doing. Why? We would not uh, sabotage your equipment. Music is the key. Music instruments are sacred. We would destroy them. Well, who else would if it wasn't you? I don't know. Your, uh, your boss is pretty shady, paying off people. Why would he sabotage our equipment? We work for him. To make him. it look like we did it. To be, make people hate us and like you more. Make you guys roll. the underdogs. Give me a roll. 19. 19. Except um, this you dice is like a song about making this absolutely um, insane uh, logic, uh, well, <laughs> you might be able to convince, convince, but you have to sing a song. <laughs> God, okay, um, I, I take out my key time and start playing a song. Cheaters do never prosper. Winners only play fair. We don't need to do this to beat you because you guys will suck. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> He's buying it. Um, He's like, look, sorry, man. I really didn't. I didn't do much here. It's just, just a couple things here. You just need a, a different, different cable over here. Like, you, you'd probably be fine. Like, do, I don't do, know do if you have a spare cable. Stuff, but I guess. Do, it do you have a spare cable? We don't. So can we use your cable? No, we're not performing tonight. We're, we're just here. Uh, he's gonna run off. Okay. It's okay, JJ. I have a plan. <laughs> All right. Um. What are the two of you who are not in a closet up to? Um, I think that I'm, I think that I'm like hanging out with the sick kids that we're, that we're getting to sing with us. Um, and just like hyping them up, being like, I know like it's going to be scary and there's going to be a lot of people looking at you, but that's okay. Because we'll be in this together and I give them all their favorite color of glow stick. Um, and just really make them like confident so that they give a great performance. Um, and then I think after hearing about the cable incident, would probably get prepared to do like a big acapella, like from the heartstrings, uh, New York Unplugged, like moment. Okay, perfect. Um, my, I'm most likely going to be double checking our like hologram projection, make sure it's all like, like just check the sequencing, make sure it's all ready. Perfect. All right, you guys are on stage now. Um, you've got a solution for the cables. Um, <coughs> the host of the show is kind of like, are you guys not ready yet? Like, where's the rest of you? We really wanted to highlight the children that we were going to be helping. Um, this is Madeline and her friends. Um, are you just flat out giving up on your band members? <laughs> I don't know where they are. We gotta uh, show must go on. While, while well, she's we'll talking, escape, I will probably. go look for them. Yeah. So, so you buy, buy, do do I'll some so, do so. some stories, and Gosh, I'll be no. back in five with yeah, everyone. This, this is Madeline. Cars, Madeline. Cars to me. Yeah, and basically, I'm just gonna start like talking about what they're sick with and be like, why don't you tell him what your favorite color is? <laughs> All right, um, the two of you in the closet, it's time for you to sing your way out. Yeah. We're gonna have to do it. We gotta activate our powers. We need to find the fire in our hearts. And also I should explain what's about to happen to me because it's super unfortunate. Often for charity time. streams on my own channel, I have these. These are the Bean Boozled Fiery Five Challenge Beans. Uh, they go from Jalapeno to Carolina Reaper, and I only have Carolina Reaper beans remaining. Um, and a darling dork has redeemed me eating a Carolina oh. Reaper bean and then attempting to sing. <laughs> so we're going to get some water. Oh. And then Rabbit and milk. I have get steamed milk, not water. a little bit. I'm yeah. lactose intolerant. It's not going to work for me. Uh, well... So I'm out. Well, everything was going on, I already rewrote. One way or the other, it's going to suck. So I you got to pick your know, points at that point. And if this ruins my makeup, I don't have another live action stream today. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah. I already rewrote the second uh, the second verse anyway, so I'm ready to go. All right. Ready to go? The way you rewrote it, I didn't do that because it feels very on point for my experience right now. So. No, you're fine. Hmm. <laughs> that's going to be really hard. <laughs> Doom, stop. You can do it. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm going to have the hiccups here. Hang on. Oh. So uh, love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. It's my lips. Bound so by red. wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire. I... Walked into a small, tight closet door. I followed in, 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 and the door was clocked. The door I found was closed, closed, closed. We fell <laughs> into a locked door of closets. <laughs> Went down, 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 and the closet was locked, and it's locked, locked, locked. locked, locked. This cursed um, closet, locked. this cursed, cursed closet. closet. My face I'm... is on fire, and also my wife just appeared. It looks very confused. I should explain to her why I'm melting. Uh, one moment. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, the closet, uh, the closet kind of, uh, you're, you're jamming and making a lot of noise and, uh, someone comes by and opens it up for you. Um, Thank you. right as, uh, your band members are like, oh my god, where have you guys been, been? What are you screwing around? We gotta go on now. Hey, all right, We've all right, got right, a hey. fire in our very hearts and also yeah. our faces for some reason. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right, to the interview, um... All right, you guys are all on the couch. Uh, the uh, you know funny interviewer is kind of like laughing and chatting about kind of some of your some of your greatest hits, some of your previous shows, kind of all this charity stuff. Um, anyone who's going to be uh, answering questions, give me a roll for uh, see how uh, how you come I, across. I will do that. I think we should all roll. Give it a go. I got a fourteen. All right. Fourteen as well. Oh. Like I said, yeah, this yeah. green dice is loving me for this game. Yeah, Roxy got a 16. Let's go. <gasps> go, Roxy. It's not a one, and also <laughs> it's like more than 10. <laughs> I got a 10. All right. I got an eight. Get eight. wrecked. Okay. All right. So, yeah, no, I mean, there's there's a couple questions you guys maybe like don't like. Like, you try to say something funny and maybe it doesn't hit. Um, but there's quite a few things where, yeah, the audience is loving you. They're laughing along. They're having a great time. Um, you know, the, the kind of, you guys, uh, you know, are asking, you know, uh, you know, about the donations and about, uh, your big concert coming up at the end of the month and it's all going really well. Uh, coming up next, you guys have your, uh, your big song to go. Uh, are you guys all ready? Um, you've decided to change up your set list because of the cut cables, is that correct? Yes, I think that we're gonna, I'm gonna use my ballad power um, to do like a unplugged, like uh, acoustic version of our like, this little light of mine remix cover. Beautiful, all right. Everyone give me a roll to see how the, uh, how the, the song goes. I break out the tambourine and the little wind chimes that I had. Just... Oh, oh. Yay, 19. 14. Hey, 17. 14 as well again. All right. <laughs> yeah, I got a... We are in sync right now, uh, Bunny. <laughs> so that was all like 14s, 13s, basically? Yep. Yeah, Perfect. Yes. Song goes well. Um, it's it's going great. Things are <sighs> Things are pretty smooth. Right in the middle of it, unfortunately, the before you can kind of get to more of the uh, revealing uh, bits of your of your presentation, uh, the uh, your rival band is gonna kind of crash onto the stage there um, with kind of their own instruments uh, that are plugged in, and they're gonna start uh, start playing their song louder than your song. What would you guys like to do? We can turn it up to eleven and go even louder. You do not have amps. We're loud enough by ourselves. Are you just gonna try to play louder and sing louder? Yeah. Uh, Give me a roll. I. An eleven. I turned it up to eleven. I, 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 yeah, I. I think I'm gonna play walk over to uh the other band mm -hmm. who's playing with us or playing against us and uh put my arm around their bassist and say See, even they support our charity thank you for coming and showing your support guys and i'm gonna bring the sick kids over <laughs> to really sell them we're just gonna surround them mm -hmm. <laughs> we're killing them with kindness yeah, uh, did, same did plan here. There, let's guys. let's move over to the that? keyboardist and see yeah. what songs we both know and if we can maybe play one together, you know, for the children. I got that 20. And I'll use my tambourine and my wind chimes to help the their drummer out. <laughs> I got a 16. I got a little bit of a cowboy. 12. All right, everyone's doing pretty well. No, the um, yeah, the crowd is like believing you that you guys are all on the same team and you're all working together for this charity. And um, are you guys gonna try to uh, try to explain some of the um, 
some of the more information you guys have, or are you just gonna, gonna try to get this, uh, just this kind of good vibes publicity going? Has... Is there any chance that J-Dog is there? Uh, yeah, he was backstage. You saw him briefly. Nobody told um, me did J-Dog talk about getting a call about the building being, like, passing inspection? Uh, you have not had a chance to talk to him yet. And the man that made this all happen, Jared Leto! <laughs> Alright, he's gonna he's gonna walk out on stage and be like, thank you guys so much. It's uh it's it's really helpful to for all of this support. Uh we appreciate it so much, especially with our with our current troubles right now. Um yeah, we just anyone who can help donate is is super appreciated. That's my cue for the PowerPoint presentation. All right, give me a roll for the presentation. Ooh, 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 that's a 15. I don't think I have anything to in my drummer. Oh, that's persona. enough. All right, yeah, no, your presentation is, is happening. Gemgram is doing her best to, like, spice it up and make it pop and uh, all of that jazz. Uh, the people are listening and watching and... Uh, Kind of as it starts getting a little more uh, spicy. Kind of, what are you saying in this presentation? Oh, it was just like the fireworks becoming the the paperwork that we saw, and the, to just in, implicate and incriminate these people. Okay, are you, are like you using it, or is this just like a sheet of numbers? Or are you using no. confetti cannons to put all of the stuff out, just blow it out. It's like I, I instead was... of those bill guns, it's yeah. it's incriminating documents. This... Yeah, no, uh, I wasn't in charge of any guns. I, they told me not to not to play with fireworks for this one, so I, I did everything on the computer. It's all holographic, yes. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of people have no idea what's going on. Uh, there's a couple of people who are like, "Hey, wait a minute, what what is this? This is weird. What what is what is this nonsense?" Um, but most people are just kind of rocking out, enjoying the song, and uh, appreciating all this music. Um, yeah, the interview's kind of wrapping up. The host is like uh, giving you guys like a that was amazing. Like this charity work is great. Like what you know, it, it looks like there's some some stuff that needs to be uh, needs to be fixed here. Like I hope you guys really uh, sort it all out. And uh, best of luck to you at your battle of the bands. Did Thank the uh, big donation go through? Well, that uh, was supposed to go through during the battle of the bands. So during we're not there yet. No, we're not there yet. Thank you so much for having us on. We are so grateful and blessed that you would give us this time. Have a wonderful uh, Sunday, Chicago. Everyone give me one more roll. Are we in Detroit? Rock out with your socks out, boy. Well, You're probably in New York now for this interview. I got a nat one. I got a nat 20. Oh, no. I got, I got, I got a nat nine. Oh, no. Oops. 14. 12. 9. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> the host is like, actually, we wanted to say we're actually, uh, on behalf of this uh, this show, we're actually going to be donating a huge amount to this charity as well. So uh, here you go. Like, it comes out with a big giant check uh, for the charity and hands it to Jared Leto. Um, and it, the, you know the crowd all claps and everything. I have no inspiration for the nat one. So what do you guys do to fuck this up a bit? Um, I... she trips and just falls on the check, the big like display check, and just breaks it. I think no. I think that I sob like hysterically, like I like to the point where it's not like cute. Like it's not like a cute. Like oh, they really. Oh, care. you like full it's on like, full ugly full cry. On, like mental, mental, like. My, there is no, my, my eyes are rivers, <laughs> like. A, so you I'm just lose, dude. like, take, all cool. Just take, yeah, like, the, it draws the moment away. Yeah, like, the camera guy should have stopped filming you, but didn't, and, like, and everyone's like, just kind of like. On you. It's now I become just, a meme. I, 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 yeah, yeah. oh, okay, there we go, that's what it is. It becomes a, a meme, meme and then, and. And then I make a TikTok about the meme where I use my Riz, <laughs> my Riz, my new Riz, riz. word. Where like yeah. I just got the Riz. Yeah, I'm gonna come in like Elvis you steal and the put, show like, from the chat. And that's what yeah, happens. Yeah, the band is gonna drop a point of popularity, and you're gonna drop a point of energy. Fair enough. 
What's our popularity at now? You're at two out of four right now. Okay, we're still surviving. We can't, we can't get any of it back from like, you know, doing a giant charity adventure. We're doomed. Uh, you got a good donation. I guess that counts for something. We'll make right. it through. We won't break up as a band. We're gonna be okay. Ari, right, you guys, uh, you, you cleared that interview. That went pretty well, honestly. Um, what, what are you guys doing next? You got the Battle of the Bands coming up, uh, this week. What are you guys, uh, gonna do? We're gonna practice the, uh, practice, Bible practice, Band practice, song. Practice. Yeah. We're gonna practice the biggest song they have. Perfect. Um, you haven't, uh, seen or heard anything to do with the, um, the building or the charity or your rivals at all. Uh, everyone's been kind of keeping a low profile. You guys are practicing away. Um, the uh, the big battle event is going to be tomorrow. Okay, guys. I think that as long as we get this last like drum line, uh, kick, flip, guitar, surf down, that we're going to be great. Like that, that's a lot of words uh, that don't really go well <laughs> together. The guitar surf is important, though. I still can't believe you can play with your toes. It, it was hard not like that, but it was fun. Hey, Bobby, you got, you got the uh, pyrotechnics ready? Yeah. Come on, man. Pyrotechnics is my life. <laughs> so you're not going to blow up the speakers this time like we did during practice, right? That was never an issue that was brought up to me. Uh, so jury's out. And no letting anyone with clothing on fire. Especially also, your own. He was not brought up in the safety meeting, so... Uh, you Remind let me to add hands. a safety meeting after <laughs> our show. I sat here by myself for a half an hour I, before I, I left. I, I thought blowing up a speaker would be its own safety meeting. You don't? No, I mean, I brought up the concern uh, and nobody voted against it, so... It is what it All is. All right. Did you send us a MySpace invite? We told you that no one uses that anymore. You really need to update your technology. It is a goldmine of uh, interpersonal relationship uh, help when you're using MySpace. Let me tell you what. How is Tom doing, by the way? I haven't talked to Tom in a long time. I him like two months ago. He's doing all right. <laughs> two months ago? You did invite him to the Battle of the Bands? Yeah, of course I did. Guys, All right. We're All right. Be okay. So you guys are feeling confident. You're feeling ready. Get well. Get lots of rest. All right. Um, it is the morning of the show, and you guys receive a uh, very distressing phone call from Jared. Um, hey, dog. What's up? Uh, you. I don't know what's going on. There's like a a bulldozer, and there's there's a crane, and uh, uh, they're telling everyone to evacuate the building, and they pulled the fire alarms, and we're just trying to get the kids out, and oh my god, and then the phone clicks off. <laughs> Great. We gotta rush the hospital now. We gotta save them with the power of music. Oh my god, that's um, the idea. Bring the generator. Let's go. <laughs> Hold these right, up in front of the uh, Oh, scene can I? Wait, wait. Yeah. Um, I know that I said I said it as a joke earlier, but can I actually use my Riz TikTok? Like, it gets really popular to promote that the new venue is at the hospital for this uh, for this festival. If you want to catch the Riz, come Give to the hospital. Okay. Battle Bands <laughs> is being relocated. <laughs> at the hospital. That sounds like it's a new uh, yeah. sixteen. Pandemic. We're all going to send out tweets and X's and all that stuff. Everyone else give me a roll. Nope. Come on, lucky dice. Don't fail me now. Team rolling 12 all the time. Continues to roll 12 all the time. I got 11. <laughs> six. I got a nine. I almost read it as a six. Said. Okay, it's so a nine. Your lucky Did dice are not lucky now. Hey, it's a nine. That's a... If our company put out a press release and their company put out a press release, maybe, maybe then we could get it, get people to show up. Can I call my HR friend that Mr. Money um, wants a new release put out? You can give me a roll. 
That's a 14 with my charisma. Yeah, no, she likes you. Um, yeah. Janet, oh my god, Mr. Money is at it again. So um, this is dire. Uh, an HR nightmare, honestly. We need to get people that were going to this battle. This battle of the bands is now relocated. It is now in front of the hospital. I know. I can't believe it either. But if we want to keep our jobs, we are going to do what we can. God, sometimes I don't even know if this job is worth it, but okay, I'll get on the horn. Everyone will send out the publicity. We'll get everyone there for this afternoon. Bless, love, kisses. And I hang up. Oh, <laughs> I need a margarita. Great, that's taken care of. All right, you guys are at the hospital. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, everyone's being evacuated. Okay, well, hold up, everybody. We need to go to a muster point. Muster Point is over in this large, cleared away I'm parking not lot. Why I absolutely require a song about the Muster Point right now. Right. <laughs> and we need to get together in the undisclosed location that is the parking lot that the weird people park in. Make your way over, and we will entertain you. While we get yep. this sorted. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nope. Everyone's everyone's listening and mustering. Excellent work. I'm gonna jump up onto the bulldozer and start playing. All right. What is your goal? Just to try and stop the bulldozer. Try and like get the guy who's driving it to stop. Hey, get someone's on it. And B, just to kind of move his height, like he's doing something bad. Perfect. Give me a roll. Uh, 14. Oh, yeah, you beat him. He's like, he's listening. He's like, yeah, this is kind of a weird job. Uh, it looks like there's still people in there. Uh, yeah, I'll hold off. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you up to? Setting up, setting up amps and speakers to try to get the... Get a nice performance going. Yep, setting up the fireworks. Uh, your rivals have also showed up. They are setting up their equipment too. These guys, bro. These guys. No, no, they're, they're going to help us. No, no, no. Yeah, because they're there because they think this is the new Battle of the Benz location. They don't understand what's actually going on. Well, they, they probably understand a little bit, but they don't understand why. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then I think while well, this is while well, everyone's like focused, um, I'm going to. I'm assuming that the MC is not here because, um, so I'm gonna MC and bring up um, our band to start this battle of the bands. To Wait, you didn't phone Jared Leto to get him here. No, Jared, Jared Leto's here. already there. He's like the okay. one who's in distress. Oh yeah, and he's but he's like oh, yeah. stressed out. So I'm gonna take one for J Dog. And I'd be like, welcome to the Battle of the Bands. We are here raising money for this hospital. Woo! Someone uh, needs to get a camera, go and start streaming. Yeah, we, we put it on twitch.tv slash darktales. Hopefully the, new, hopefully the news media <laughs> start coming and stuff so that they'll- Everybody look, it's that Riz lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> it's the Riz girl, the, the Riz crier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, if um, anyone would like to uh, donate to help these guys win Battle of the Bands, uh, now is the time to donate and uh, see if they can if they can come out victorious and also save this hospital. For good cause, guys. Good cause. It's for the kids, virtual and real, oh. scientifically, but also <laughs> like for real though. <laughs> it's really for sick kids. <laughs> it's for real, actual sick kids and virtual, actual sick kids. <laughs> um yeah but i guess i just get us ready to start our first song all right what um, you're while you're doing that your rivals have started playing they are attracting the attention of the crowds and they're uh they're rocking out can we copy their song the song that we practice that it that we know of theirs that's right you do know their set list uh yeah you have an advantage if you want to try to do that if you want to try to overwhelm or something yeah we're gonna join them in and try and make it seem like we're Join together to be a That's bigger we band. Do. Well, this is the battle of the bands, right? So everyone knows that you guys are competing right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we're also, mm. we're raising money for the hospital, we, so 
I can we try and do a pitch perfect like where we jump in like with their song and yes. then we like change it to our own song kind of like that back and forth like, montage style the yeah favorite. the the musical Fish tension mashed, yeah. everyone give me a roll let's do it uh 17 12 13. for the third time in a row. 12 nice jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll get the other dice. Just keep grabbing the same dice all the time, or the same die. It's only one. Yeah, no, you guys successfully like steal the song away. Like the audience is watching you guys now. They kind of turn to your stage. Um, yeah, you guys are just rocking out. Uh, How big is the crowd right now? They're they're filling out. It's not a lot of people yet, um, but yeah, there's there's a couple of people who showed up because you guys are playing and everything's happening, and they got the they got all the uh, internet marketing. Can can I just, uh, try and challenge the uh, the guitarist to like a guitar off? You know, like from a uh, reboot Again. when uh, oh, they went ball went against each other. Absolutely, give me a roll. Let's see how you do. Sixteen. Oh wow, yeah. Um, this is gonna retire require a air guitar solo from you right now, and uh, let's see how it goes. One second. <laughs> Channel we need some music there. Meow 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 meow. Don't yeah, stop no, believing. You- the, uh, the other guy tries his hardest, but the crowd likes yours better. Um, yeah, they're gonna, they're, they're, the crowd is, is not loving them right now. They're kind of, they still don't love you more, but like, you guys are kind of tied right now. Um, as that finishes, the rest of the band, however, is prepared in the rivals. They are prepared to kind of uh, do a huge uh, kind of sonic burst and they kind of knock all of you off of your feet. Um, everyone take one point of, uh, of damage there. Oof. Now what um, are you guys going to do? I think we got to set the pace here and get ourselves yeah. back on our feet. So I think Roxy's going to actually use drop the beat here. Um, oh. just accelerate us and get us all moving quickly back, back and with it and in tune and hopefully singing it's... I Need a Hero because that feels like the right song to end this song. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a uh, big enough crowd for me to like, crowd surf now? Uh, and I totally forget, do I need to roll to use the signature solo or not? Uh, yeah, give me a roll and uh, and sing a song. I have a 17. Perfect. Mm. Oh gosh, and sing a song. Let me get some water first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob, what, sorry, who was, who was asking a question? Um, I have some crowd surfing. Yeah. Yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, uh, surfboard guitar surf on the crowd. What's your goal? <laughs> oh, get the, everyone always loves when people crowd surf. So yeah, your crowd surf play- move is like designed to like get you to escape something, but you don't really want to escape this this one. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else want to use their signature solo? What do you guys got? Uh, mine yeah. doesn't fit. Mine's for calming aggression, so minor keys not gonna help too well here. Well, your rivals are pretty aggressive. I guess we could try calming them down. Sure. Yeah, give me a roll. And sing a Drop song. a nice calming beat before we get started into the song to get everyone's attention. See if we can get them to quiet down a little. Mm-hmm. Uh, 19. Ooh, all right, sing away. What do you sing to calm them? Well, I believe uh, the request was... Uh, uh, yeah, Roxy we, we was going to launch in over here. Oh, I need a hero. You got the lyrics so, uh, ready? We you, can we can do one verse each. I can start the first one if you want. Sure, uh, and then I guess we'll, yeah. we, we'll just go through order randomly as we go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I, it's been a while uh, since I've tried this one. Uh, where have all the good men gone, and where are all the gods? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? 
Late at night, I toss and I turn. I need what I need. I need a hero. I'm old enough for a year until the end of the night. I'm gonna sneeze from my TV He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. Holding out for a hero. Um, to the morning, a light. Um, he's gotta be sure. It's gotta be soon. He's gonna be larger than life. Larger than life. Ah, uh, you guys are killing it. The audience loves you. Ah, uh, you are absolutely winning. Your rivals are kind of like sitting on the ground, being like, "What the hell? We can't compete with this." Did they actually goddamn practice or something? What the? <laughs> How like, and we did forget. <laughs> and um, Eddie Money is on stage now yelling at them to get back up and keep singing uh, and yelling at the construction workers and uh, just kind of yelling at, at everyone. Uh, yeah. Can we uh, try cool. and get the attention of the charity cameras onto Eddie Money being a monster? Yeah, as, like part the, as part of the as part of the little drum solo, I'm gonna kick over the 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 bass drum and just fire off my fireworks at them to knock them off of the stage and kind of draw the attention uh, that way. Sounds dramatic. I don't do things in half measures. But can, can I offer nefarious suggestions? Knock Eddie currently? and the rivals off the stage. Yeah, yeah, and drawing attention in mm. their direction. I think if you if you knock them off the stage, they're not. No one's gonna be able to see them though. Oh. Uh, in their direction. What if you so, like, shot them up them. in the direction? Yeah. I think this is time for crowd surfing over to the other stage. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. right, I don't think the camera's going that way. Sorry, too many people talking at once. Go ahead. Yeah. Everyone give me a roll. Yep. Ooh. 16 on my end. I got a 4. 2. Uh, 16. Nice. The, the the good luck is gone from that dice. I got a one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, Jacob, you do get a reroll because this is your solo. Oh yeah! Nice. Thank God. Yeah, no, we're wrapping up. Went from a one to a twenty. Perfect. The 20 is going to uh, drag along the two who got a four and a two. And everyone's over there. The cameras are on you guys. Everyone's watching you. Uh, what do you guys do? Are you going to sing a song about how corrupt this guy is and uh, all of the things he's done? And uh... Yeah, Show I think world? that. Yeah. This guy sucks. <laughs> he's trying to hurt children. Imagine trying, to, imagine trying to tear a hospital when the kids are still inside. He hates kids. <laughs> just go bananas on the tambourine. And then we just the, start, and then times. I think we get a chant going of like, "We like kids, we like kids." But not like that. Uh, maybe, but not maybe like that. Not like that. <laughs> 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 maybe protect them. Protect kids. Yeah, protect kids. Yeah. We, we stand with kids, kids. Yeah. Protect protect kids. Protect kids. way kids. better. Protect the kids. Protect the kids. Protect the kids. Everyone, give me one more roll. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? I haven't rolled this clear one. Not twenty. Go yeah. for a Not new 20. dice for this one. Again? Fourteen. Thirteen. Are right, we you not twenties and everyone else was in the teens? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the show is blowing up. Everyone is recording this and posting it online. Um, his uh, feeble excuses are not convincing anyone. Uh, people are cross tagging it with the footage from your uh, interview concert that uh, hadn't made a lot of sense, but now uh, kind of is coming together watching this guy uh, break down and what he's doing. And uh, everyone is uh, very confused. There's uh, some police lining up, in fact, uh, off the stage to come collect this, uh, this gentleman. And uh, you are uh, definitely the winner of the Battle of the Bands today. Uh, everyone is loving you. The hospital is not being demolished and, in fact, uh, has been cleared of its uh, previous uh, failed report. So uh, Jared Leto is happy. Your record label is happy. Hollow herself is there to uh, congratulate you guys as you step off the stage. And... Uh, 
is there anything else you guys would like to say or do or encore or uh yeah just hang way out to go Jared guys Leto. yeah good job team mm -hmm. we're just gonna hang out with jared leto actually we're gonna ask jared leto to join us on our last song <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. No, he's uh, he's up there. He's uh he's dancing in a slightly bizarre way. <laughs> You're doing great. I know it. I think that's and I think that's how we ended. I think it ends on a big yeah. montage of Jared Leno, J Dog, and everyone celebrating in the parking yeah. lot. Like even the demolition crew was like in in it. Oh yeah, no, they're not demolitioning yeah. anything. They're rocking out. It just ends with a big like firework display of it's Morbin time. Oh yeah, you guys yeah. get your good pyrotechnics at the end there, like just fireworks. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Yeah. Right. And the music has once again saved the day. Good work, uh, music. Thank you, Natasha, for running. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yeah, thank thank you. guys for you so being here. Um, I guess we probably want to go around the circle and uh, <sighs> give everyone a chance to say who they are and say goodbye. Sure. What what order are we doing it in? Uh, let's do the same order as last time. Okay. Kind of vaguely remember that that started with me. Hello, hi, it is I, Bunny, uh, and and or Millie. My pronouns are she and her or they and them. Uh, you can find me over at Twitter TV slash Bunny Hearted doing dark ass VTuber stuff, and very often over here, including here tomorrow and Sunday as well. I'm really excited, um, and this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for thanks for running this. This has been such a joy. Hi, I'm Charlie. I use uh, they, she pronouns. You can find me at twitch.tv slash chicken Charlie. I'm also here all weekend. I'm playing in two games on Saturday and I'm running a Jimmy Buffett one shot on Sunday. Uh, so you should come hang out for a good margarita time. I'm excited for Jimmy I'm so Buffett. Excited for that. Nice, yeah. So good idea. Hi everybody, I'm the Revno Sarkhan. I'm also here on Twitch. Uh, I've been uh, fortunate enough to, to kind of hang out with you guys a couple of times. This has been such a treat. Thank you for, for running and for having me at the table. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what else the weekend brings. Um, my name's Dale, and I was uh, just he, him, I guess. Uh, and no social media for me, but it was fun to join in this game. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for have a good hey, I'm um, so Jacob, Jacob. Uh, Crimson Art Cosplay here on Twitch. I'll be here for Jimmy Buffett as well and Kids on Bikes tomorrow. <laughs> so come join us and please donate whatever you can. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much to all of you guys for playing in the game today. Thank you so much to all of our donators and our chatters. We guys, We love you guys. I'm Natasha. You can find me here on Twitch and on the rest of the internet as Natasha Tuskovich Designs. Uh, we do co-working and creative streams. And I'm going to be in a couple more games this weekend on this channel here. So I hope you guys will tune in for more of those. And uh, yeah, this was really fun. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. And we will be, I will see you guys on future games here. Fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, for being in this game. Quick reminder that this is to benefit the Children's Miracle Network. So if you go to extralife.org slash team slash dorktales, you can donate to help make a child's life better. These sick kids get 100% of the proceeds, and uh, it's it's just a great cause. And you can make some crazy mayhem happen. We have a bunch more games coming. In a few minutes, we have a Chronicles of Darkness game ran by Awkward GM Corbin. And I think you're really going to enjoy it, especially if you love Five Nights at Freddy's. We'll be back in just a couple mm -hmm. minutes with that. So just hang out. We'll be back at 3.30 with Rodeo Randy's grand opening. Thanks, mm -hmm. Tasha. Thanks, uh, goons. <laughs> goons. <laughs> goons. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.